Well, this, this song doesn't sound that bad. I try to handpick, like, decent stuff to start with. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mandy's looking for the link. Let me uh, drop it to her. Yeah, for real. That link is like a special link that will always take you to the live stream, no matter what. So I, I hear can, that I, I, I hear that Mandy is uh, starting a new line of um, perfumed fog fluid. Oh really? It, yes, it's 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 fluid that 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 it works in fog machines, and it's perfumed. Oh, that's cool. Yes, um, AKA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, last I heard, she was specializing in uh, uh, deep deep fried uh, uh, cat pieces. <laughs> kind of like chicken yeah, nuggets, but better. <laughs> yes, it's uh, it's a perfumed fog oh, okay. fluid that um, that apparently uh, you know could be dual use, mm. just uh, dual use. I actually still have in the garage. I still have a really nice fog machine for my fan days. I have a, it's a Martin you know, Techno Fogger. That thing fucking blows a lot of uh, a lot of fog. I still have a big bottle of Timeless Vapor floating yeah. around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, uh, back in the day. Um, I, I, I yes, I, I do have a big bottle of Timeless Vapor somewhere floating. I have to find it. You know what I think is really awesome and amazing on on Mandy's part is uh, I don't know if she's still here, but. Um, she's like actually posted quite a few of those recipes for the DIYers, and I think that was just like a really amazing, awesome thing to do. Um, she was the first one to start the Grape Anise. Well, back when, all right, somebody's in the room is like, What show is this? Uh, this is a flash show. Uh, there's a bunch of hosts this week, uh, well, this day. Uh, they're going to vape meets, uh, there's vapor cons going on, there's a lot of things going on, so, um, council and, uh, Myself, Tiger, uh, and then uh, Scope decided to, to join us. We're all coming, you know, just to fill the holes and, and, and what have you. It's a flash show. Yeah. You know, it's what's up? We have no idea what the show's about. We're just going to talk shit. Hi, Mandy. Nice to see you. For those that don't know, Mandy's basically the reason that I'm talking to you right now. She's she's the one that uh, that picked me out. Mandy's the OG. Mandy's the OG mod envy. Yeah, she is. Uh, and and my, she's the one that basically led to me casting. I never would have planned on being a, a host or a caster, but she she kind of uh, started the uh, the whole process that led to me to still doing it to this day. <laughs> Mandy uh, Mandy was in before Mod Envy. It was Mandy and the Jersey Boys. I know. That's a, you, wait, wait a second. Hold up. Let's back up. You were a Jersey boy. Were you fierce? Oh, wait. Can I, can, <laughs> I gotta look on YouTube if the trailer is still here. Let's see. It was Mandy Cat. It could be on YouTube still. Mandy Cat. Joe was the Jersey the, boy. The Jersey Boys. He was fierce and fabulous and fantastic. Yeah, it was... <laughs> It was, and you haven't commented um, on my meme yet. I thought you would like this one. Oh, hold on, because because I'm looking at this. Hold on, <laughs> give me a second here. Uh, oh well, yeah, it was, but no, you know why I didn't comment that? Because that is common sense. You know, but it, what makes it funny to me is I love that movie. So when I look at this meme, I hear Jim Carrey's voice go, Stop breaking the law, asshole! <laughs> On the phone, like he says mm -hmm. it at the top of his lungs. <laughs> that's a great scene, so that makes it funnier to me, because I, I, I hear his voice saying it. <laughs> it makes it funny. Mandy, do you, do you not have that old... Uh, we, I'm looking for the old intro. We ha used to have the old intro of, of um, the original Mod Envy intro. Intro old. Let's see if we can find it. Like the original, original. And Joe, if you ever move to like Florida or California, this is a meme that you need to pay attention to. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, hold on, give me a second here. Let's see what we're looking at. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> 
you know, you never think, like, when you look at a palm tree, but it's like, yeah, that doesn't work out so well. <laughs> That's insanity. Yeah, all right. Uh, finally. I just, I went light today. Yeah, because you got to save up the good ones. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like that That's one. That's funny. The picture is, is good, the, you know, the goofy face. <laughs> and I'm all out of emails. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can't find it here. Okay, videos. Oh, God. Mandy said she, yeah, she sent it to you on Facebook. Uh, what you can do is if you, if you get rid of the HTTP... And just put like a space after the first period, like it'll let you, you can get away with something like just for, you know, if you have to, you can do something like this just as an example. And it shouldn't block that, I don't think. It can, you, you'll trick it enough. Oh, it doesn't, it, it, yeah, it's blocked, it previously contained copyright audio track. Uh, they, they probably scoured it because of the music. They've been getting really... Oh, that's, not, that's no fun then. You gotta, you gotta hear the music. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know when they really... I remember when it changed. It was literally January 1st of this year. That was the first time they flagged the corn song in the intro. I used to have, I had that full song in the, in the Mod Envy intro every show, no problem. And then boom, January 1st, they just started uh, flagging it. Okay, here is, here, all right, you, you actually can get, if you, if you can do this right. I'm gonna throw this here, out. Hold on, I'm gonna build the link here. <clears throat> if you can look at, at, this video actually has the original intro. It's only like two seconds and it goes right to the intro. All right, let's see. Yes, people, Tiger will be here. We're still waiting. Mm -hmm. Let me just uh, get this in a box here. All right, uh, so does it have audio, or is it going to be completely quiet? No, it's audio. Oh, it's got audio. Okay, here we go. You got you to bring, yeah, I got to bring it back. All right. This is like the first show of Mod Envy ever. Just, just leave it, it's fine. It, it'll... Yeah, it's playing. Right. At electrotv.com, holy shit. That's, Why that's don't cool. I hear sound? Oh, maybe it's muting this point? It might be muting the audio here. Well, you don't, but it... I have the sound turned up. Yeah, it is muting. I, I, I'm not getting the sound, but it, there is sound on the video itself. Yeah. Yeah, they when they mute the track, they mute the entire track, which is really annoying. The Jersey Boys... Right, let's see here. I remember when you look like that casting. <laughs> you were always like black and white and like in the dark. And... Yeah, that's like an old school Vapor yeah. Joe's logo. Yeah, Rich, that's why we're, we're doing the, the stroll down memory lane. <laughs> we got the link from Andy. Alexa, Alexa, you gotta join Alexa TV. My name is Smokey. How are you? So that, that's it right there. That's the first time yep. you, you two are on screen. Yep. There and it Andy. is. Wow. Yep. January 2013. Oh, all right. So I started vaping uh, February, March, April, May, June, July. So like five months later, I started vaping. <laughs> Yeah, I, there I uh, literally, um, that would be the first Mod Envy with um, Smoke, uh, Smokey and and, um, and Mandy, and that would have been 2013. Uh, so, 
Let's the figure show's out. gonna move into its. All right. Uh, fourth Let's have gear. The, the the fun part. Let's eat, identify each of the devices that the three of you are holding. I'm sure Mandy <laughs> probably knows what she's got. I'm uh, mine. Uh, I'm using. I'll tell you what I'm using in that picture right there. I am using a V Max. Wow. Okay, well, VMAX was before the ZMAX, and that took two 350, uh, 18350s and was uh, basically a Provary um, clone. And Mandy had those. I mean, voltage. back in those days, Mandy was really into those. Uh, what the hell were they called? Like, it's, I want to um, the word volcano is popping into my mind, but it's not volcano. Like, uh, Mandy's using an old school. No, man, I, I can see what she's using. She's using an uh, lava tube, but the, that's it. The lava. The that's lava what I was. Tube. I was. Uh, the, that's where I got volcano from. Well, I knew I was like something to do with a volcano lava lava tube. Remember, she had a whole bucket of them at one point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's using a lava tube, and it looks like a, a cardo. I think it's a Cardo. I'm vaping on a Cardo. That's her. See, I remember that. She's Mandy, vaping on a Cardo. Mandy had that whole... You had a bucket of different Vulcan lava tubes at one point. I remember, like, all different colors. And Smokey, <laughs> I have no idea what he's vaping on. He could be vaping on anything, because he had a ton of a ton of devices, even back then. Mm. Somebody's like, Arrow Smoke Tank. No, 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 no. We're talking... Oh, oh and Mandy, now, here comes the liquor. Mandy wasn't good unless she was liquored up. She needed her, uh, she needed her tequila. <laughs> there, she's drinking wine. But. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> That's how my drumming days were. <laughs> I, I didn't play any gigs without booze. It was like God, that was that look one was of the terrible. required ingredients. I needed sticks, cymbals, and booze. <laughs> that was the ugliest fucking in, uh, uh, graphic ever. Well, you know what's funny though is that we uh I still follow the tradition that you started in the show. I just realized something. The brick background. To this day I use a brick background because I've always associated the brick with Mod mm -hmm. Envy. And matter of fact, at one point Nitro got rid of it and then when I started casting I brought the brick I, I found a different brick, but I still used brick because I always felt like that brick wall was just a kind of a I don't know, like a trademark. So to this day, I still use it. I wonder if Elixir TV still goes somewhere. That was back during uh, when uh, Stickham was still running. What's so, amazing? I wonder if Elixir, Elixir TV probably goes to like some porn site now. What's funny is, uh, you know, of course, the tech side of me is going to uh, analyze this, is the frames per second. Each of you is running at about two frames per second, maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's like, pop, 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 pop. You know, that's not <laughs> 30 frames per second anywhere near. <laughs> it's definitely, uh, you know, I think our, our ability to get video across the Internet has gotten better uh, as time has gone on. Oh, well, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think we were doing a Google. Were we doing Skype? I'm, I think we're doing Google Hangout there. Tiger, are you calling in? Here. I'm actually trying to figure out what she's using. Uh, she's because... out there in her hand, that box mod. No, no, for for the the, the remote screens, because I don't see the uh, the little. She's si probably might be using Mandycam or um, the other one. What's it's not? It's the other program that everybody uses. Uh, not Skype, not VC. No, no, you're talking about to broadcast. No, <clears throat> how she's getting the video from you and the and the video from Smokey. She could be using Mandycam or um, I don't know. I know we're in a Google Hangout at that point. Yeah. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, my, Skype. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know she used Wirecast. Uh, and the, the what was throwing me off is uh, uh, Hangouts has its little volume indicator and VC has its little signal indicator. So they both kind of make themselves obvious and this has nothing it's just basically just video windows so that's why i was wondering like well, what how she do with the video people are talking about beaver snow i actually was using a, a bluetooth behind uh the the head kind of um microphone i think it's a sony no terrible 
terrible. <laughs> Look at those, those amazing like three or four frames per second. That's amazing that Skype couldn't do a better job back then. Like they could. It's not Skype. It would. That's um. That's Google Hangouts. No, she said. No, she said. Uh, she thought it was Skype because it, it, Hangouts usually has those little uh, signal indicators. You gotta remember, this was many years ago. Yeah, that's true. Maybe Hangouts. It, it could, could have been. I, I, as long as I've used Hangouts, I always remember them having that little, you know, thing when people, the person talks, just like VC has. Oh yeah, no, no, I remember that. They didn't have that long time ago when it first started. Mm -hmm. No. Well, Smokey's got something going. Smokey's got something going on. Yeah, Smokey's got a weird like signal bar there when he Tiger, talks. Tiger, nobody can hear you. Is she here? Oh, there she's she is. She's here, but she but her she like, just appeared just now on mine. Yeah, her mic her mic isn't working. All right. Well, should I switch over and get there you guys on, yeah, on yeah. cam? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, get us on cam. Right. Oh, I was just I was enjoying the old show. I remember that uh, the black and white, the, the the faded out camera, the desaturated camera, the backwards hat, the Van Dyke. Yeah, Joe used to hide in the dark all the time. I like, did, I did. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, why are you hiding? So then I get up in the, in the light, and they're like, hide again. Like, <laughs> you can't wait. <laughs> and then everybody yelled that my hats were backwards, so I wore them forwards. And everybody's like, you got it's not wear your hat forward. I like it backward. I'm just like, fuck off. Like, seriously? <laughs> Kill yourself. Nice. <laughs> All right. So anyway, it's ten seventeen uh, on on the eastern uh, seaboard. Uh, we have no idea what we're going to do tonight. Uh, this is a flash show. If you guys don't know what a flash show is, basically what happens is somebody calls out and says, "Hey, I can't do my show," and then other hosts step up and say, "We'll do your show for you." Uh, and usually, uh, you know that that host that was supposed to do the show has some sort of plan in mind. Flash shows have zero plans in mind. None. Zero. Uh, so it's all like off the cuff and flying um, by the seat of our pants. Yes, flying by the seat. Of, you know, I never understood that word, that saying. Uh, flying by the seat uh, of I'm my pants. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the origin. I mean, we all use it and we all understand the uh, implied meaning, but uh, no, I'm not sure. I'm now, sure, now like it's... most things like that, it, it has some really bizarre origins, like that you would never think of, like. Maybe World War Two fighter pilots or some you know something crazy like that. <laughs> no, in in uh, in in um, memory of uh, all the Mexican people gonna, that are going to be deported when Donald Trump is president, I'm drinking Coca Cola from Mexico. These are true bottles from Mexico, Coca Cola from Mexico, uh, and the difference is is this is made with real sugar, and it's the bottle you actually have to pull it off with a bottle capper. So, uh, that's nice. also all the Mexicans out there. Where did you find those? My, oh, you know, Mike. He brings them over. Oh, okay. I wonder where he finds those. Not next to the wall. That's not built. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Alright, is this, is, this, is this done charging? Tiger wasn't here for the memes, but uh, they weren't dirty, Tiger. No, no I, they weren't I dirty. Them, I save those for so that Tiger can thoroughly enjoy them because I know how much she loves the really raunchy stuff. So uh, I save only yeah. my best stuff just for Tiger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, because what happens is, you know, yeah, that's the, we'll get more of a reaction of Tiger. Oh, you know? and I don't know what's coming. And then Tiger will see the memes, and then all of a sudden, I'm just I, in the back of my mind. I know her tolerance level, and when it's like overload, I'm just like, oh fuck, okay. This one, <laughs> I'm gonna hear about this after the show. Yeah. Have you? Oh yes, <laughs> yes I have. No. Yes not, I have. No, no, no. Yeah. I take you to task for stuff you say, but uh, not. Really no, but just... we've had some pretty raunchy memes. I'm just like, oh yeah. dude, really? But <laughs> and yes. I am uh, vaping on an e-cigar. I love these. These are great. <laughs> nice. Have you ever had one of these, Scope? Uh, no, I've never tried an e-cigar. Mm. Well, Does it actually appreciate. taste like a cigar? Well, it's got that shitty, crappy e-liquid. <laughs> so, yeah, it tastes <laughs> like a cigar. <laughs> well, it tastes like a fine uh, Cohiba. No, it tastes like shitty juice. 
you know, so yeah, it tastes yeah. like a cigar. But I, what I mean is the liquid in it is is trying to emulate a cigar as opposed to like a Marlboro mm-hmm. or something like that. Well, it, it, in my opinion, it tastes like I've I've had many e cigars over over the years. It tastes like an e cigar. Like they have this certain flavor to them. They try to like, you know, you can't match the taste of tobacco, the burning of tobacco. So they try to emulate, you know, what it smells like, basically. Mm-hmm. And uh, they do a pretty good job of it. It's more of a oral fixation. If you want a cigar, and you want this big thing in your hand, no pun intended, <laughs> uh, you know, and you just you need a cigar. You know, like your team won the Super Bowl, this is or a giant cup. congratulations to the Cubs for winning the World Series, or uh, you know Trump when he wins on Tuesday. Um, cigar. Well, <laughs> I looked it up. I looked up the expression "flying by the seat of the pants," and I got to tell you, the origin is very unsatisfying and still doesn't really uh, explain it to me. It has to do with an aviator in 1938. Hey, I was right about that. I said World War II fighter pilot, so I was in the ballpark. <laughs> 19, well, just before, just before the war started in 39, yeah. uh, he was known as Wrong Way Corrigan. He uh, starred as himself in the 1938. Well, that's crazy. They made the movie the same year. The 1938 movie, The Flying Irishman. Uh, he was to navigate a transatlantic flight. He was going to try to fly from uh, t- from Brooklyn to California, but he ended up in Dublin, Ireland. You, you know what? That's because he's a fucking New Yorker. <laughs> he claimed he, he, he claimed that his compasses had failed. He didn't uh, openly admit it, but it was widely assumed he'd just ig- ignored the rejection of his flight plan and deliberately thrown east, uh, flown east rather than west because he had uh, submitted a flight plan to cross the Atlantic and they turned him down, it sounds like. I'm confused. How do you not know you're going from east to west? Well, that's why he said his compasses failed, but um, apparently he had been turned down uh, to do a transatlantic flight. And well, uh, so, so he said it, he was going to fly to California instead, but went to Ireland anyway. They, oh, they okay. assumed that he ignored the rejection of his flight plan and deliberately did it. He was thereafter known as Wrong Way Corrigan. I just... <clears throat> I, but I, that I, still doesn't explain the expression. I, um, I uh, well, I guess it's because, yeah, the fact that he even made it anywhere. Uh, I just, I've been watching occasionally these, um, like, air disaster shows. I don't know why, oh. <laughs> but I oh find my. it fascinating, like, getting to the root cause of them analyzing the debris and, like, figuring out how the hell it happened, and they almost always do. And, uh, you know, there was one that was just like that. It was a guy in Brazil, I think, and he took off. He basically went the wrong way, and, and the reason was, ended up being is the sheet that the pilots get that has all their info on it, like their, their mm-hmm. course they're supposed to do, they changed somewhere along the line from it being three digits, you know, like 270 degrees, for example, to four digits. And it was supposed to be 27 degrees, so they wrote it uh, 0270 or something like that. And... The, the last place was supposed to be like a point place because some planes could take four digits like to be more accurate mm-hmm. and instead when they, apparently they had a briefing on this change but the guy was on vacation when the briefing happened the pilot and uh so it uh you know he just typed the number in wrong and he ended up literally taking off and flying the wrong way and even the uh, passengers noticed and uh, oh, oh man, I have yeah. It's like, dude, we're flying from Jersey to to Minnesota. Why do I see so much water? The sun is on the <laughs> wrong side of the plane. Yeah, so it Just is. saying. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. I have a. Uh, I found somebody. Hey. Hi. Cameras over there, if you want to. I, I see it. <laughs> Hello. What's up? She can't hear us. No, I need to <laughs> We're talking so much shit about you, and you don't even know it. No, uh. This is, I haven't gotten in these pants in two years. Awesome, baby. I'm, I'm reading nice. chat right now. It says, uh, Tiger, what are your thoughts on Max you making doing? a cup? Oh, she, hey! You, you, wait, hold on. She, like, she can't hear. I just got home from church. Yes, I do go to church. It burned up. No. 
They like <laughs> me there. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not. I'm sure you. Do, I'm sure they like you there because all the women there are probably like 80 years old. No, and, I go to a really like cool church. It's I got a cool Hillsong church, man. Church, There's like chicks there and like leather skirts. I got like... NFL people. Like <laughs> I don't know if they're Giants or Jets or who. What 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 team? Uh, they're a lot of Giants, a lot of Yankees, shit like that. <laughs> so, look. Ma is how much power your mod can hold. <laughs> that, that you're never gonna live that down. The whole ma thing. I don't know I what a ma don't, is. I still don't. Sorry. Ask your <laughs> ask ask your priest. Hi, yeah. tiger. The priest will Hi. tell you what ma means. How you doing? I'm better today. Thank you. Okay. What's going on in Chizat land? Nothing. Hi, <laughs> people in the Chizat. All right. Well, I just want to come and say hi. Yeah, you should go to your you should go to your your priest and be like, excuse me, Father, whatever his name is. Um, according to the Lord, what does Ma mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Good luck with that. And he'll be like, ah. Uh, you crazy. Does the Lord like Ma? I don't know if the Lord even knows. He made somebody who knows what it is, so I guess he does. <laughs> nice. Just saying. Are you stoned? Did you go to Did you go to the church stoned? No, I don't oh. drink and I don't she's, do drugs. She's mellow. <laughs> mellow. Whatever is making I'm her tired. mellow, give me some of that. I'm tired. I've been <laughs> on my feet all day. I'm going oh. to lay in my. Raising my hands. Been on my feet all day. <laughs> I do. I dance around, raise my hands, I do cartwheels in the aisle. Uh, do you no, do those, uh, what is that out. called? Um, when you, you talk? Uh, I forgot what you, you think they call oh, on you. Oh, tongues? No, 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 not in tongues. Uh, you just kind of, you, you just kind of give a, a, uh... Testify? Yes, that's it, testify, thank you. There's when you no testify. testifying at my church. Oh, okay. No. Ew, I, <laughs> I don't always sound drunk. <laughs> you have a Jersey accent. As a girl, you always sound like stone, drunk, needs... or... Yeah. You're, you, that's you, all you, there needs just... to be. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mike. Hey, everybody, how you doing? You're, you're drunk. That's just a, a Jersey girl thing. You're immediately <laughs> accused of being drunk. I'm mm -hmm. not drunk. All right. Bye. See you guys later. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> You're the Bella, not me. <laughs> She's a goof. Takes one. To, tell her takes one She's to no one. She's the prettiest of them all. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "You're the prettiest one of them all." <laughs> Going down the stairs. She's too kind. I already love her. She doesn't have to do that. I know she's a pisser. So I'm gonna look like some kind of weird villain with this with this cigar. You know, villains always smoke cigars. You ever notice that? Yeah. Like in like comic books or movies, the the guy the guy that there's only one man who smokes a cigar that's not a villain. His name is Columbo. But he smokes a thin cigar. Only one. Yeah, and they're really bright green. It's a little because it's a natural wrapper. But even so, once the leaf is picked and made into a cigar, won't it like kind of turn tawny? Well, it, back it in the day, that green. he was he was close to a place. That doesn't that, even look like natural leaf green anyway. It's, it was, it was, he, he bought his fucking cigars at like fucking 7-Eleven. <laughs> he paid like 20 cents for them. Give the man a break. <laughs> all good cigars, yes, will be brown. I mean, well, not all good cigars are brown, but, but yes, his were green and, and, uh, and what have you, but. So I never had a green cigar, ever. Didn't, uh, didn't Obama lift that whole thing on uh, yeah. the Cuban cigar so you can actually get them now? That, that's that's pretty wild. You can bring them in. You can't actually buy, like, I can't stock Cuban cigars and sell them. But you can, you're allowed to bring them in now. Interesting. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to have a whole, like, you know, underworld of Cuban cigars that are a lot easier to do now. They won't cost as much. All those people that made their livelihood on Cuban cigars are fucked. <laughs> It's interesting. They were expensive. That, that'll be one of his claim to fames. 
It's like, that, I'm the guy well, that Thank you for the, the cigars. Yeah. <laughs> Obamacare you know. and cigars. Well, <laughs> at, at least he did something that people can think is good before he left office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I said that it. Yeah. The guy's a piece of shit. You see him today with that protester? Oh, man. Oh, I heard he went he was, off. He was at a, a show... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, oh. hold up, hold up, it goes no, up. they just no, saw it, I just did it. <laughs> Basically, there's this, like, old, like, uh, veteran guy, he becomes, uh, you know, like a protester, because he was talking about how Trump hates P uh, POW, I mean, uh, like, veterans, I'm like, you fucking high? Um, mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if you said he hated fat chicks, yeah, I, I get that, but... But if you said, you know, he doesn't like the people who have gone to, you know, Trump and veterans are like, you know, one and one, right? So <laughs> this guy out there is protesting, and out of nowhere, um, uh, Obama just flips out on him, screaming at him, hold up, hold up, shut up, shut up, hold no, up, He never shut said up. shut up, but hold no, up. No, he said... I think he said hold no, he up said, about quiet. 57 times. Wow. He said be quiet. To yes. The, yeah. Yeah. They need to make a hold up auto tune of this. It was terrible. You know what? Somebody will. <laughs> and it's going to be like, hold up, that hold up, times, hold up, they, hold up. They Yeah, it's terrible. Auto tune it. Yeah, I have it on my uh, on let, my. Um, let Shmo Yoho get a hold of it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's really funny. My favorite one of those is I don't know if you guys ever saw it. Is the, the climbing in your windows, snatching your people up. Oh, the one who's talking about people getting raped up? Yeah, yeah, you better hide raped. your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, <laughs> and hide your husband because they're raping everybody up in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, I never saw that one. Oh, but it's, I, it's I love the that one. Uh, best best auto tune there's, ever. There's somebody on um, YouTube, they call themselves Shmo Yoho. And they did uh, the the debates and a bunch of other political stuff that's been going on uh, in Autotune. And, oh, it was it was funny. I mean, I've still got some of the tunes in my head. I, I'm, I'm, I'm making a, 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 a ringtone for my phone out of one of them. Sean Hannity. Sean Hannity. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> Here, let's see. Yes. Great. Well, Yeah, some of them are really funny. The, the issue is, though, I mean, um, some of these things need to be taken seriously. I think the problem with our country now is anything could be made fun of. Like, you could be talking about a two-year-old child that died um, and was uh. beheaded by terrorists and somebody out there will make a meme about it and make fun of it. This thing you has know? 133 million views. The, the, oh the, my god. And there's other copies of it, like another copy that has 63 million, another one that's got 1.1, another one 1.5, so if you were to actually add them all together, it's... <laughs> It's a ridiculous amount. Wow. But it is pretty funny. Yeah, every, they're, they're raping everybody. Yeah. Hide your kids, <laughs> hide your wife, hide your husband too, because they're raping everybody up in here. Oh, man. <laughs> and then they uh, they even put the auto tune on the newscaster, and it's like the man got away, leaving behind evidence. <laughs> you know, they should they should have that. Like somebody should do a show where it's just nothing but auto tune news. Oh yeah, AutoTune is hilarious when you put it on something. I could, you know, I messed. I had, I was running AutoTune tune live on my voice for a few months there, but I could never get it to do that because it needs. It's like really hard to set it up right to make it do that because it's like, it it needs a note to do something like so if it can't pick a note out of your your voice it it mm -hmm. doesn't do anything so. It, I, it depends, I guess, a lot on the content and on a lot on how you tweak it. And I just didn't dive into it deep enough to get it to do that. Oh, so you have to have like a crack in your voice or something that, like, if you talk it's, monotone, it, it's yeah, not gonna work. It, for you. Yeah, if you yeah, if you're real monotone, it would probably not do anything. Like, it's it's it, there's a lot of different. Basically, you have to mark on a piano keyboard which notes you're gonna allow and which ones you're gonna reject, and mm -hmm. then. It's the, the rejecting of the notes that makes it jump up or down that makes it sound really funny. Oh, so you okay. have to know what notes to pick on the piano and which ones to turn off so that the voice shoots up and down quickly to get that effect. Hmm. So and it's, it's kind of an art thing in it, that chord. Yeah, there's an art to uh, and it, so it's looking at the note. Every word you say as kind of has a note to it, 
and, right, you, right. and it has to like figure out what that note is and then shift it up and down. So, but I could never uh, get it really good at like work. I couldn't get it to do it much live unless I actually tried to like fake sing. Then I could make it do it. But uh, and here I thought they were actually dialing it in like more manually. I didn't realize it was that uh, that smart on its own. That's hmm. that's interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you can. Yeah, you can. You can go nuts with it, but uh, I never really uh, went far enough with it. I suppose. I I mainly used it just for the the octave, you know, the octave up and octave down when I was doing the Barry White and the uh, the other the, the, the squirrel voice. But I ended up ripping all that out because the the problem with it is that there's a delay, like it puts a delay on your voice, and then you have to try to guess how much to delay your video to match the now delayed voice so that they sync up and it would change every week like i would get it perfect and i have to do test recordings to see if i was synced up and it would be perfect and then we'd do the show and people in chat would be like it's out of sync so i was like yeah fuck it i'm not gonna do it anymore it's not worth it well that was a lesson in auditude <laughs> yes <laughs> we're geeking out <laughs> yes we're 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 trying to figure all right this is full thank you oh my DK tab. Yes, I'm vaping. Jap uh, I mean Japanese, Chinese juice. Same shit. You know, to be honest with you, Asian people, I, I look at you. I have no idea. If well, actually, I know Japanese from other Asians. But if you're like, you know, anything but Japanese, I'm gonna just assume you're Chinese. <laughs> Mandy said she loves kitties, but they don't love her. That's not true. They love you. Just once in a while, they decide to commit suicide on your watch. But hey, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah, um, you know what it is. I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah. Like, if you looked at a Korean person, you look at a Chinese person. Can you tell them apart? Honestly, actually, can you say I that can. person is Korean. Yes, yeah, Korean. that person is Chinese. Koreans have a have a certain look to them. Uh, a, a great example of that would be Glenn from Walking Dead. I mean, Glenn to me looks Korean. He doesn't look Chinese. Chinese is a different look, and and so is Japanese. No, right? I mean so, pure. I don't mean like there's American blood in there. I mean, I, like his mom is Chinese and his father's American. I mean, if you took a pure Chinese, pure Korean, could you tell me the difference? Like if you just like, oh, okay, that person's Chinese. I think so. I, I think I don't he'd be think able I can. to. Yeah, and they but, can't have a tan. The, 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 there's a like Koreans. The trait is that their eyes are a little different. Um, the food would be different. Like yeah. if they handed me food, I'd know exactly if they were different. You know, but but if you know the way they they look, no, nah, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> Glenn <laughs> looks like hamburger to me. Yeah, Glenn looks like a uh, hamburger to a lot of people. <laughs> Somebody says that's racist. You know what? Fuck you. Is that just an observation? Observation. Hey, we all have our traits. That's right. I'm a mutt, so I've got a mix of traits. I'm not white. I'm I'm a Sicilian, which means I'm black. Yeah. I want reparations. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, as a Sicilian, the I have the black mail, blood. <laughs> so I'm very offended by the white man. And uh, I want represent, uh, you know, reparations. Wow, we really need a change of topic, or I need a break. Yeah, One or the right. other. Yeah, let's go somewhere else. What? So What's wrong with talking about reparations? Today? <laughs> well, I know, I know you pride yourself on being non politically correct, but like we don't have to charge in like a bull. Yeah, just, just saying. All I said is I want reparations. What's the problem? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, you know what? I'm going to start. You know what? Next time we have a show, it's going to be the reparation show. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're going to be very lonely. Yeah. No, You're there'll like, be 5,000 people in this room. <laughs> Look, I already hear this shit. Okay. Uh, uh. Well, Tiger, you're a mutt. Yeah. We got, we got your DNA tested by the, was it 23andMe? Yeah. What are you? Yeah. Well, you would have lost that bet, although yes. you still won't let go of it. You still yeah. think you are right. I am right. And uh, uh, I'm Eastern or you're European. European is is most of it. Yeah. So I, I know where my grandparents are from. So it, there's not a whole lot of surprises there. Oh well, I, I, I honestly, guys, I thought she was part Jewish. And the reason is is because um, I, I 
I, I love Jewish women. <laughs> and I knew I was going to marry one. And I married one. And she's Jewish. <laughs> well, we still haven't ruled that out because my grandfather was from Warsaw, Poland. Uh, during the right time when there would have been a very high population um, and he very very much has a, a lot of the traits that that uh, that seem to go with that he was also very fluent in Yiddish so that's a little clue there as well um, my mother was constantly being assumed uh, a Jewess as well a Jewess? And, uh, yes, yes. Uh, a, one of her co-workers thing? one of her co-workers gave her that nickname but uh, my, my heritage, uh, half the grandparents came from German or Germanic descent, uh, a quarter Polish and a quarter Austrian. Yeah, but you could totally be Jewish and be in that. Yes. Now, people don't think that Jewish, they just think it's a religion. It's not. Uh, Jew, uh, being Jewish is a nationality. Uh, you actually have physical features um, if you're Jewish. And I don't mean like uh, you become Jewish and those features hit you, you yeah, yeah. You as know. soon as you can hurt, I mean, <laughs> but people who have been Jewish all their lives, uh, they they have features, uh, yeah. just like any other group has features. And people, you know, well, how could dare you say I have this because I am this? And it's like, well, fuck you. That's just the way they look. Sorry, <laughs> you know, just that's how it is. You know, just like Italian people have bad tempers. Am I supposed to say that I'm anti-Italian? No, we just have bad fucking tempers. Um, it's just part of the thing, you know. Uh, for instance, Sicilian men have very long eyelashes. I have very long eyelashes. You, you do. You really do. It's a, I, I, I so wet, badly want to get after you with the mascara just to see what a pretty girl you would have been. Thank you. Oh, he'd, uh, <laughs> he'd be so hot and fierce. You know, just, there's certain <laughs> things, you know. If you're black, there's a good chance certain things are going on. But require porno movies but still leave <laughs> it oh my god <laughs> there's certain you know we all have our traits it's just it's just the way it is you know what i mean and it's it, it shouldn't be a problem to talk about people shouldn't be offended you know no. you know like polacks my uh, uh, my father was part polack you know polish people are stupid they say well my dad could be taunt dumb from time to time you know well, yeah. Just the way it is. I'm a weird mix. I've got, I've got, I think it's like a quarter Irish, a quarter Italian, quarter German, and then the other quarter is just fucking split four ways. So I don't even, I, I don't even remember like Scottish, Welsh, might be Polish. I don't even know. It's like just, it's, <laughs> it's just mutt. <laughs> I mean, the name comes from the Italian side, so it's definitely an Italian last name. But, but blood wise, you know my grandfather on my mother's side was definitely like practically off the boat Irish um, that's you know. where the drinking comes in yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely and then but where it gets confusing is that like the German part apparently like from a blood standpoint the German quarter is actually was kind of like old Italian blood but they were kicked out of Italy for someone tried to kill the Pope or some shit like like 500 years ago. <laughs> well, people people don't realize this. Most and maybe maybe um, you need a a lot of people need to understand this. Most Italians are not dark hair, brown eyes, um, a dark skin. Most Italians are blonde hair and blue eyes. Okay, only the Sicilians are the darker uh, of them. Okay, and it's an island. Yeah. And what happened was the Moors conquered it. It's the ball. The that, it's the black. ball that the boot is kicking. <laughs> yeah. And the Moors conquered Italy, and the Moors were black, and they had lots of sex with the Italian women. Thus, the Sicilians were born. But uh, there's plenty of blonde hair, blue eyes Italians out there. Uh, you know, Napoli Dons and all that stuff. You know, you know, just the the, the the northern. You know, but the Sicilians did the good stuff. We invented tomato sauce. You know, and all that other good stuff. Everything that you eat that you consider Italian these days, you know, tomato, anything with tomatoes is, is pretty much Sicilian because we needed to eat it out of necessity because people thought tomatoes were poisonous. I mean, let's face it. When you come up with a tomato, it's disgusting inside. Like like uh, George Carlin said, it looks like it's still in the larval stage. It, you know, it looks disgusting. Sometimes. It depends, it depends on how ripe they are. Like when they're really ripe, they tend yeah. to they get a little mushy. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. sometimes like, those are the ones that taste the best. <laughs> that just look a little weird. And they're part of the nightshade family. 
yeah. which is poison. You know, so people just kind of ate them out of necessity. And you were like, wait a minute, these are good. Okay, what happens if I put this in water for a long time? It's, I, th- I still think it's weird mm. that we classify them as a fruit. It's, it's, well, because they have seeds. Yeah. Anything with seeds is a fruit. So yeah. peppers, technically, like a bell pepper is a fruit. That's we odd. Just cl- <laughs> we, just think, we just think fruit means sweet. Yeah. But, quote, unquote, bear's fruit means the seeds. So, uh, you know, anything that has seeds in it is considered a fruit. And it's, it's weird because, you know, when you, you think about it and you're like, oh, here's a tomato. What is that? Oh, well, that's a vegetable. No, that's actually a fruit. And anytime you see a thing of fruits and vegetables, the vegetables, is always there's always a tomato in there. And it's like, no, no, that's a fruit. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Yeah, that's weird. So technically, you can make a, a tomato-based e-juice and call it fruity. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> so let's make a tomato sauce, e-juice, and call it fruit-flavored. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't. I can't see that being a big seller. You know what's weird? I can still say I have never. Forget about mixing. I've never vaped a savory of any kind ever in my life. Oh. I have never vaped anything that would be classified as savory ever. Well, there was a Canadian reviewer, uh, Vapor Chase, that used to say, "Friends don't let friends vape savory," but. Uh, I just I, haven't had the opportunity. It's not like I'm going to order any. So unless somebody handed me a mod with it in it, uh, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to order it. So <laughs> I'd say the most disgusting I ever tried was hot dog juice. That's pretty gross. Um, and you can still buy it on Fast Tech. Uh, me, and, me and Smokey do that live. And it doesn't really taste like a hot dog. Like if you were, you know, because a good hot dog tastes great. Uh, it kind of tastes like the water that the hot dog was boiled in yeah like the fatty hot dog water no thanks <laughs> so what happened was during the show smoky boiled hot dogs and put the fatty hot dog water in a cup and drank it and oh. and was comparing the hot dog juice to the fatty actual fatty hot dog water you see these were yeah. the fun times of vaping That's, <laughs> okay <yeah. laughs> hey i've done i've done some funny yeah. shit that most of the funny things i've done have been dares regarding the museum over here, which, which still some of these, it's kind of like a joke at this point, but some of these have had the same liquid in them for like two and a half years. Oh, <laughs> There's probably one no. mod that's going on three. Because <laughs> I don't touch them. They just sit yeah. there like as a, it's like a museum. But you're braver than I am. I have a couple of those too, but I won't vape them. Not for nothing. Well, I won't either, except people dare me and then I end up <laughs> <doing> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, oh wait, is hot dog juice still available? The worst oh, one I did was in, oh, like almost is. three-year-old juicy Hankson juicy peach uh, that was sitting in the same tank for like almost three years. No. It basically, the best way to describe it, it was vaping stainless steel. <laughs> right, so yep. here, I was going to say, tasted leached, like metal. Yeah, it just leached all the inside of the tank, so it just tastes like metal. Uh, so, so I put in uh, as we speak a uh, Hankson. I'm sorry, Hangda. I thought it said Hang Sang. Uh, I never heard of Hangda, but whatever. It's hang- Wait, it's hot dog flavor made by Hangda. Ew. Um, everybody gets that. I do. Anyway, uh, but uh, it's 24 milligram hot dog flavor. It's $4.83 for 50 milligrams. I mean 50 milliliters. Buy it and bring it to vape meats. <laughs> Just be like, try this. You want to try the most disgusting e-juice you've ever tried in your life? Try this. Uh, there's a question in chat. Real Sean wants to know, uh, Tiger, can Joe cook? Uh, yes. Yes, he can. Um, the first time I came out here to meet him, uh, he wanted to cook. Italian, of course, for me. And he did just a simple spaghetti, meatballs, and uh, and uh, or, well, you want to call it a gravy. It's not freaking gravy. Gravy is meat juice. If it's got tomatoes in it, it's tomato sauce. But I agree uh, on that he one, did by the way. he did from scratch do a very very good job. It was a thoroughly enjoyable meal. But the problem is Joe and I like very different foods. So can he cook? The answer is yes. Do I eat a lot of his cooking? Not so much. Like I cook <laughs> like crazy. I cook turkeys. I'll cook this. I'll cook that. The problem is Tiger won't eat like, for instance, and don't take this wrong way, ladies and gentlemen. Tiger won't eat anything off the bone. Okay. I you know am what? not a carnivore. Tiger, Tiger, I am not. 
A tiger and I are, I'm, I think, are exactly the same. In this no, but like, I am I not a coyote. Like, I do not want to chew my food off of its carcass. There's I'm something the entirely way. too sad I'm the same about way, that. Tiger. No, thank you. Uh, I, I, well, well, regardless. And, and I point. don't even like... Here's another one. I don't, let's see if you're like this, tiger. Corn? I don't want to eat it on the cob. I have to cut it off first. Because oh. I don't oh, like the way it feels like like getting all stuck in your teeth that when you bite it i don't like that it has to be off already <laughs> that is annoying i will give you that that is extremely annoying and calls for a, an immediate uh, application of dental floss but no i will eat corn on the cob i will well anyway so i can't cook certain things like chickens turkeys asabuco i can't cook anything on the bone so See, everything's got to be boneless. You can cook it on the bone. Really... I like in my case, Court just cuts it all off for me. <laughs> no, but but I but yeah but yeah but I, I get that. But she's not. Tiger's not a foodie. Yeah. Tiger wants to eat because eating is required to live. <laughs> I want to eat because it's an experience. Yeah. You understand? She's not like that at all. I'm a foodie. I will go and try the the bacon wrapped. I mean the tripe with cow guts. Because somebody said it was amazing. At least once. Oh, you know? it's just savage. Uh, but Joe doesn't have to cook for me to impress me. Yeah. I still remember the first time I heard Joe really get excited about food. Uh, we, we hadn't known each other long, and it was in a Google Hangout. We talked about those at the top of the show. And, uh, you know, I, I was already fairly impressed with this guy. And, and he's got this Jersey accent going on. He, he doesn't have a really, really thick accent. It's not really obvious. But when he gets excited or angry, the Jersey comes out. But you got to hear him talk about food. On one hand, he's like, "Stop!" and then you know, and and all Jersey. And then all of a sudden, he starts talking about food, and he goes straight Sicilian, mozzarella, prosciutto, oh, and, and it's just like, I don't care. Just just talk about food to me all night. You're making my knees weak. So, um, somebody was asking, uh, "No three dog tonight is her anniversary, I believe, right?" Uh, as I understand it, yes. Yep. Yes, she's very, celebrating tonight. She's uh, celebrating special. her 50th anniversary, married 50 years. Oh, come on. With her no. husband. What? Gonna What's be, wrong? No, no. 50 years. It's huge. 50 years. I don't know. What's the medal on a 50 year anniversary? Rust? Gold, silly. <laughs> and it's not 50 years. But, uh, I'll, I'll let her give you a tongue lashing about that one. Uh, anyway, so... Um, so yeah, she's she, she celebrating her anniversary tonight. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I do love to cook, uh, but I'm, I'm I'm out of practice. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I haven't cooked in a while. I'm a, I mean, when well, I mean cook, I'm used I'm, to cooking for fourteen to thirty people. I'm wondering if tigers like me though. Like I I hate I hate to say it, but I'm like mega mega picky. Like I hate yeah. a lot of shit. Like yeah. like just to give me an idea how bad I am. Let's start with seafood, eh. and I mean all of it. <laughs> no crab, no lobster, no. There's a couple of weird exceptions for me, like, uh, and this is terrible, but like a, a you know, th really thinly breaded halibut, like as a sandwich with tartar sauce is okay. I actually kind of mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. but that's it. Like it has to be that specific way. Like, and occasionally I'll pick at a crab cake if it's done really well, and as long as there's no huge chunks of crab, I might be okay with that. Like, it has yeah. to be really well disguised, but uh, yeah, I, I don't do the lobster thing, I don't do crab, uh, you know, most I do fish. not mind seafood, yeah. And no, then, I don't mind seafood. You don't mind it? No, but it depends, because where, where I'm really picky is in, the, is in the presentation and what parts of it you use. Like, uh, you know, crab legs and crab meat are fine. Don't bring me any of that green goop that's in the major shell. That's cat food. I don't even want to see it. I don't want to hear about the it. You bring it. You bring it to my plate, and I'm going to lose my appetite for the whole plate. You know, yeah. like, don't even do that. Um, if it's shrimp, that's got to be deveined. I'm sorry. I don't want to eat shrimp poop. End of story. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. You know, uh, all that's those that, kinds that's of things. That's why I don't I'm eat that so shit. <laughs> I'm so squeamish about it. And what it boils down to is I, for a long time, said I think I was supposed to be a vegetarian but I just lack commitment because uh, you know there's some good stuff out there that I want uh, but for the most part uh, a, a lot of anything that was once living swimming walking or flying kind of gives me the creepies so it's shrimppoop.com uh, I'm with yeah, you that's right. does anybody I, I own shrimppoop.com I don't like the any like 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 you said like if it's still on the bone and I have to do the work of getting like I don't want to 
because that's too close to I'm like. A, I, even, I can't yeah. use a knife and fork, even you know. That chicken, just drives like, me crazy. A, somebody hands me a fried chicken, like wing. I'm usually not gonna be into it. Like, yeah. Occasionally, I'll make an exception, but I, like I just wing. don't like getting that. So, like, there's a bone, there's cartilage. Like, I don't want to look at that shit. You know. It's I know. Like, I know. Give me my and my really perfectly formed chicken nugget <laughs> that's processed. <laughs> and if you really want to gross me out, serve me <coughs> a, like a hamburger or a cheeseburger or something with a tiny little shard of bone or cartilage in it. Oh man. Yeah, I don't man. like that either. I'm not a oh. big fan of that. So, welcome to the anti-food show. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's I right. mean, like, Picky come on, eaters man. unite. Come on, medium rare hamburger, like bl a little bloody. Need a little oh. bit of blood. No, I'm okay. Um, that's, that's I'm okay savage. with the medium rare part because it, no, it, she's oh. well done. Uh, oh, like, yeah, yeah. No, fry I, the I, fry the sneaker and put it on uh, just shoe leather and I put like, it on I'm the. Okay no, no, no. It's the way. It's, it's, it's the way I make my burgers. They're never tough. They're never tough. They're yeah, because awesome. it's fifty percent beef and the rest is like oats no, and shit. No, it's more than fifty percent beef, but I use. Uh, I'll, I'll, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna share some of my uh, cooking secrets with you guys. You want to make the best burgers in the world. Your backyard barbecue will be an absolute hit. You uh, start with maybe uh, maybe a couple pounds ground beef. Throw in lots of rolled oats, like you would make porridge out of rolled oats. Okay, one egg. Uh, a very liberal, like a third of a bottle of like HP sauce. If if you're in Canada, it's HP. Down here, it's A1. A1, but A1 doesn't A1's quite taste like HP. HP. HP's yeah, H that's if UK. you can get your hands, yeah, if that's you can get UK. your hands on HP, that's the that's the bomb. And uh, lots of that, lots of that. Be liberal. And a packet of I, I can't believe I'm sharing this with you guys. A packet of Lipton onion soup mix. Now get in there with your hands. Use the use the nitrile gloves if you want to. I do. I don't like that crap under my nails. Get in there with your hands and just get it until. Don't overwork it. You make it tough, but get it really, really well blended. Form into really tight, hard patties, and uh, you can freeze them. And just throw them on the grill, frozen even, and then you've got the best backyard barbecues. They are always juicy. They are always tender. They will not shrink up much to speak of if yes, you use you, you're lean eating, hamburger. You're eating grilled meatloaf. Oh, it is so, I, I, until I, listen until you've had one and melted meatloaf? cheese. That, that's that's interesting to me. I, I, I that never is, heard of them. Oh my god, best burgers in the I've world. Never, every, I, time know, I, every time I took those to barbecues, all the people who brought steaks were drooling over what I was eating. So and remember, yeah. she lives in Canada. Mm. So this is, yeah, this is the beef. same woman that said, I can't believe the Americans eat their hamburgers that are pure beef. I said, what? Wait, wait. What do you eat? Like, like, like yes, we want pure beef. Pure beef means it's pure. It's There's no... It's artificial tough, anything in there. and it tastes gamey. <laughs> so many of them smell like slaughterhouse to me. Ugh. Yeah. It's like, well, I, I, I want my hamburger to be pure beef because that means I'm ordering a hamburger, which means a, a hamburger steak, a steak done in Hamburg style, meaning take the steak, chop it up to the point where it's ground, fry it up, put it on a bun. Well, listen, That's a hamburger. Uh, all I'm saying is you folks at home, you, you try that. You try that and get back to me. You, you're going <laughs> to love it. <laughs> and I'll I'll give you oh I can't even believe I'm parting with all these secrets I'll give you the best uh, you talked about corn should on the should we pod, open so a recipe should... section in in Mon Envy uh, I mean I'm sorry in the uh, vaping underground forums for cooking recipes <laughs> why not <laughs> uh, the DIY section corn on the cob if you want the most tender sweet corn on the cob you know how sometimes it'll turn dark yellow and it'll be tough and it won't be very, very sweet boil your water when your water's ready to put your corn in. Put in a liberal splash of milk, just milk, normal milk from the fridge. I don't know what the magic of that is. That put in your corn cobs, boil them. When they're done, take them out. I promise you. I That's promise you. You will notice a difference. It comes out more tender and sweet. Well, here in Jersey, we don't have to worry about that. Jersey has the best sweet corn in the world. Um, um, you can you can eat Jersey corn raw off the cob and it tastes like it's been boiled. The white corn here, you just you could just eat it. Like you don't even need to boil it. Now most people still boil it or they'll put it on the grill. Uh, but our corn is known for its um, uh, I think it's called Country Gentleman is the is the uh, breed of corn. And uh, you could just eat it right off the cob. Kind of creepy. Almost you know, it's like, oh this is wonderful. You just like peel it off and just eat it right there. But uh, yeah, it's called Country Gentleman. It's good stuff. 
I just realized all my tips are so out of season. Here we are heading for uh, uh, Thanksgiving, and I'm yes, sharing, and then here I'm we are sharing backyard barbecue tips. Well, no, so. corn is still corn. Can, is corn is very, very much uh, Thanksgiving. Um, I think of it more as a, a, a late summer. No, uh, no, you know. corn. Trust me, corn is on Thanksgiving tables. All right. Corn right. Um, stuffing. Yes, corn is there. I promise you. Because what happened? So the Indians showed the pilgrims how to, you know, fish. And they took the fish, the dead fish, they put it, it showed them how to plant corn by putting a dead fish under the soil to show them how to, whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, yes. we're make, apparently we're making everybody hungry. Like they're yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> they're asking if I'm vaping my pen. No, this is a rechargeable enjoy. Yes, I have one too. Yes. But my, it looks like my jewel has taken a shit. My jewel has shit the bed. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what happened. I gave it to Tiger, and it doesn't work anymore. He's now, blaming I'm not blaming me. I it on her. I babied it. I babied it. I, I, I'm, I'm not always blaming stressed it on her. when I borrow anything. But for some reason, uh, it's still there. Um, it's still lighting up for me. I suspect it just needs more of a charge or something. I don't know nope. what. Green, green light. And if I just do this, nothing. Like little wisps. But I have to really, like, like I had a two dollar hooker of this thing to get really anything out of it. Go <laughs> chose oh. See, I'm and really getting nothing. Here's here's the reason I know it wasn't me. The whole the intake, the air, the juice, the coil, the uh, it, uh, the intake of air, the whole thing. That's all about the cartridge. He loaned it to me to vape the menthol. Uh, when I was done, I charged the battery up for him and handed it back, and now he's having trouble, and it's like, well, I got to think that your cartridges aren't as good as the first one you tried or something, because it worked great for me. Yeah, yeah I, 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 But I there's know nothing I could have done to it. I, I agree like, with uh, There's no way to ruin the intake. I agree with the animal. I, br I blame the uh, washing machine. I think that it... it uh, <laughs> it probably went no, to the wash. No, because I know you, you leave shit in your pockets. <laughs> no, this has not gone through the wash. Yeah. But... Oh, Gwen, Gwen has a really obvious and excellent, excellent suggestion. Clean the contacts uh, where you put it in to, with isopropyl alcohol. They might be a little bit... Uh, well, if the contacts are dirty, up. then it wouldn't let me know that it was connecting. Um, Not necessarily. Yeah, it it'll just, connect, but it, it won't lose, connect well. You'll lose. You'll lose power in, in the dirt, yeah. basically. So that, uh, yeah, that's a very good point. If, if I well, I don't. I don't use this everything. thing very often. Because think I about mean, how it's it, it's vaping at such a low wattage that any kind of like crud mm -hmm. on there is going to bring it from low wattage to almost no wattage. You know what I mean? It's well, not like the thing right. is, it's not right. producing any vapor, and. I'll be honest with you. If the rule is that you have to clean the contacts and it's a shitty system, because the average vapor is not going to know that. The average vapor just wants to put shit in here and vape it, and it'd be over with. They don't want to have to deal with uh, getting a toothpick or uh, or getting a, uh, a you know a, a, a Q-tip and putting alcohol in it and doing all this shit to get this thing to work. The problem if is that's is the it, case. Uh, juice always end of find, conversation. like every mod I have. Juice always finds its way to those contacts. Always. No matter what, it, it just finds a way. Well, there's a thing on Reddit about the uh, some of the batteries that just for some reason um, aren't firing. Like if I like it just it's not firing. Like I won't have any any power touching the um, the cartridge. And when I do, I, I have, like I said, I have to suck like a two dollar hooker for this to really make contact. So for some reason, it could be that the uh, auto. Basically, it senses the drawing of the breath to actually fire it. There's a problem there. Uh, I don't know. But hmm. it has definitely died in the last two days. I don't know what it is. But anyway, I contacted Jewel. And um, from what I hear, they have an excellent warranty. Every one of these have a small serial number on the back. Uh, and um, so I've heard from people like on Reddit and stuff that they'll just send you a new battery. So we shall see. And I was going to get a MyJet. Uh, but I've heard horror stories about the MyJet. Mm -hmm. Everybody's saying, it's all burnt, it's disgusting, don't try it, don't get it. Uh, that's so, good. I was like, you know, the Jewel at least never burns. I've never got a burnt hint off a Jewel ever. I think it's funny that there's basically a fascination with going old school right now. Like, Well, no, for <laughs> me, the, well, 
At least for me, there is. I think I think you're better off. Like, if you're gonna, if you want to kind of go with that nostalgic base, babe, go like pull out one of your your Nautilus minis. You know, like, because this is an old school vape. It's totally mouth to lung type draw, like what you're using. But it's it's gonna. I still think it's probably gonna get better flavor than some of these. It's clothes. not doing this. You can't do this with a Nautilus mini. You can't do this with a Nautilus mini. You can't give me that what I'm doing right now as I'm talking to you as I'm uh, like this with this little bit yeah. this little thing in my hand. You can't do that. See, I, I don't I, have any of that. It's been so long since I smoked that I, yeah. I've lost that. Like I'm I'm doing it right now. I'm talking to you, but I'm holding a mod. It's just mm. you know, and like there's no part of me that's going. God, I wish I had something stuck between my. You know, like I need to have this to feel okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't know. Yeah, it's it's just it. What happened was it's just one day I woke up and I was just getting, I sick and tired of just mouth to lung. I mean, I'm sorry, direct lung. I was getting sick and tired of direct lung. I'm just like you know that's not how I smoked. That's not... Well, I, I've been what, saying this for a you know while, Joe, I mean? that I, I think mouth to lung is going to make a big comeback. I think people, uh, especially because a lot of people that started, you know, the newer vapors, probably for whatever reason, because of vape shops or because of their friends, went straight to lung hitting and never even got to experience mouth to lung. Mm -hmm. um, so I would imagine a lot of those people, once there's more attention around it, might suddenly go oh my god this is so much more because it really is if you like flavor and you like throat hit uh mouth to lung is just so much more satisfying you know i do you guys i know this like i do the lung hitting thing mainly when i'm casting just kind of for fun you know but when i'm just working or just living life i'm hitting this all day long which is totally mouth to lung you know mm -hmm. because it's just more satisfying it, it's this is what tricks my brain into thinking like it's a cigarette because it it's that tight draw it's a long draw which i get more satisfaction from instead of drawing for yeah. two seconds i'm drawing yeah. for about eight or nine seconds so i'm getting satisfied for a longer every draw is a more satisfying thing because it's a longer draw Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and mouth to lung, I feel you you get a, a much higher concentration of flavor, mm -hmm. like because you're tasting it all in here. You know, lung hitting, you're you're kind of bypassing all of the buds in here because you're going straight in, and then lung hitting, you tend to taste some. You get most of your flavor on the way out, but it's not as concentrated as a mouth to lung going in, where it's really fresh. It hasn't hit your lungs yet. So if you really mm -hmm. think about it, it, if you like flavor and you like throat hit, I, I think about the lung is the, is the king, you know? Hmm. Yeah, it just depends on what kind of setup you have. It's pretty hard to get mouth to lung these days unless you're on something old school. Um, you know, I mean, you could dial your tank down to the point where you, it's like that, uh, but it's not the same. Like, like I said, you know, you're holding this in your, in, in your, in your mouth to lung unit. It's just, it's not the same. Like, even this cigar, uh, the juice in here is terrible. But this is still... The, uh, it reminds absolute, me of a cigar. Absolute best mouth. You want to talk about one of the reasons the flavor is so much more intense is look at the size difference of where the vapor is being atomized. Right? right. Like, look at the volume of the air difference. This is about the size of like the K funds atom, the original K funds chamber, right? It's like 14 millimeter, you know, this is 25 millimeter plus it's taller. It's just a big difference. What happens here is that it stays really concentrated. It doesn't get diluted with all that fresh air like you get with a, a lung hitting setup like this. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's just uh, it's different. But I I, I'm, I do think it's going to make a comeback. I, I know there's a lot a lot of the vet I'm watching chat. A lot of it like what I call the veteran vapors never left mouth to lung. Uh, you know, people like Basardo mm -hmm. I know still does mouth to lung. Grim I think does a lot of mouth to lung still. Um, you know, Joe, obviously, like a lot of people that, that started in the Mount Dolan days never gave it up completely. Some people did. People like Nitro just, you know, he's 100%, you know, lung hitting. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, you know, um, Mandy is another example. Mandy never left it. I never left it either, you know. And th th there's two juice makers. So that kind of tells you that juice makers tend to like the mouth to lung if they were around in those days because we got used to that level of uh, flavor concentration you know mm -hmm. uh and 
I remember when I first was introduced to lung hitting, like early on, I was just, I didn't get it because I immediately noticed the reduction in the flavor. It was like, yeah, there's more clouds, but where's the flavor? You know, so I, n I never really. Uh, well, what happened was when I when I first started on the first Rebuildables, like the first, like it was just, it was just called the Addy. That was the name of it. <laughs> Um, and then, and then you had the Phoenix. The Phoenix is really what brought rebuilding into the yep. into the forefront for everybody because yeah. it was like yeah, a seven dollar atomizer. Yep. And then you had the uh, uh, Igo L, which I have. I have one. Yeah, those. and then the Igos. Yeah. But what happened was you couldn't really direct lung inhale them, and you couldn't really mouth to lung them either, because they, they had air holes in them that were much bigger than say what we were used to, cardamizers or the the, uh, the 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 atomizers we were using, uh, their air holes were you could still just do mouth alone. Uh, so you had to drill them, and yeah. if you didn't drill them, you were kind of caught in this weird like area of just nothing. yeah. It wasn't open enough to be lung a direct lung, but it was too open to yeah. be mouth to lung. So you and, had to drill and them, and that's where the direct lung came in. Yeah, and, and I get confused by that because, like, the way my body works is I automatically switch based on the draw. Like, my some it's a subconscious thing. I don't have to think about it. It's just my body senses it's tight, and I go into mouth-to-lung mode. You know what I mean? Like, where I'm pulling it here, and then it goes down like a cigarette. You know, and then conversely, if I feel like I could breathe through the damn thing, then I, I just I me, immediately, sw like, a gear switches, and I'm... Um, straight into the, you know straight to lung so right. but it uh, that's for me it's all based on the the draw so where it gets weird is when it's like right in the middle where you've got like it's almost mouth to lung like it's right in the middle but then I sometimes well I you got to start drawing in your own air yeah like you got to kind of put it on the side and bring yeah, in a little bit of your stream, own air you, you slipstream out you, you yeah. hold it sideways and then you let a you, you create a crack here and you let the air come in. Like that's only yeah I, yeah. I would only do that if it was like ripping my throat out or something. Like if it was really intense and too warm, uh, because maybe the air hole's too small, then that's how you can you can uh, um, compensate, I guess. Yeah, I, I totally did that one too. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way though that you can you could shut off the airflow. I mean, literally almost shut off the airflow entirely on most tanks these days, and it's very hard to go mouth along. Like if you even if you try to do it, it's hard because even the mod itself. They have air hole grooves in there that just make it almost impossible. Uh, well, it's funny. Mount. A lot of people don't remember this, but uh, think about where air used to come from. On all the old stuff, like the Pro Tank, your air came from the 510. Mm -hmm. they, were, they would take the 510 and they would uh, they literally drill like a tiny hole through the 510 down here. That's why all your old mods had to have like um, grooves in the top like this see those grooves that was to let the air in so right. like yeah. that was part of mod design was they always had to de design the top of the 510 to allow the air to come in because all the air was coming in through the 510 connector and then it wasn't until i think actually the nautilus was one of the early ones that i remember Oh, well, the Nautilus was the first one I remember seeing the ring on that had the uh, airflow control. I'm sure there was other ones around that time. Well, they came out with rings for older ones. Yeah. Like if you wanted just like a pro tank. Yeah, they, they had the, the ring, ring for the pro tank that you could like add to the pro one, tank. Yeah. yeah. But I remember when Bissardo, I actually remember watching the review Bissardo did. It was like, this is like, this is going to change everything. Like that was like the first tank that had the adjustment. And he, he explained why, you know, and I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. And sure enough, it became a standard. Now every everything has it, you know. Yeah. Um, I remember, <clears throat> yeah, the ProTech was, was was crazy. I was in a hangout when it was uh, talking to the two inventors. Uh, and we brought them on Mon MV. And the ProTech itself was the entire show. People are like, you know, you look at it now and you think that's hilarious. But back when the ProTech first came out oh, yeah. something made of of glass and, and stainless steel that you could buy you could put it fluid in, in it leather <laughs> and it came in a leather case because fluid was and, still really was, popular back then so people people were always yeah. looking for a way to vape fluid and, and i mean people were using ce4s with leds in them remember those mm -hmm. uh and uh, you know i mean shit was getting cracked and if you wanted a glass tank you can get one uh, but it was mostly Cardo tanks that had like Finiac tanks that mm -hmm. I, you know that had the glass and they made a boatload of money on that. 
I had some gorgeous Finiac tanks. Tiger has a gorgeous one. I have one too. Yes. Um, of old uh, Cardo tanks, but that was also, but you had to pay for them. So, so now you could just go to China and, and buy this pro tank, and it has stainless steel and glass. What? Somehow but, I miss the uh, <clears throat> I miss the whole Cardo era. Um, I mean, they were still they were still popular when I first started vaping, but at that point, like. I was gravitating towards like the Kanger T2, the iClear 16. You know? No, no, no. Cardos, you missed it by like a year and a half. Yeah. Cardos were basically uh, an atomizer and a cartridge combined, and that's where the word cartomizer came from. Yeah. Because an Addy would have its its uh, bottom coil, and then it would have a bridge. Okay. And then the top, you would have. Uh, some kind of cotton or some kind of um, uh, something that would hold juice. And then you put them together and the bridge would take the juice from the top part, bring it down into the Addy, and you had an atomizer. Well, somebody said, well, let's well, fuck this. Let's just put them all together. And that's that's when the cartomizer came out. Yeah. Um, now, the atomizers, we got smart and we said, well, fuck it. Just get rid of the bridge, get rid of the stuffing, and we'll just drip directly into it. And that's where you know we just started vaping. I remember doing Addy. that. I remember actually ripping the uh, bridges out of uh, Addies. I was doing that uh, early on. Right, and then you know rebuildables really didn't get popular till about I would say like really popular till about two years ago. You know, uh, you know roughly about two years when it really blew up. Yeah. Because people were still doing tanks, and, um, and still people were still using cardo tanks. But when the um, when the tube mod became real popular, the actual mechanical tube mod became popular. Is when Addies became popular because then the whole mechanical era of the vapor community started, where people would pair their um, their their atomizer with their with with their um, with their tube mods. Uh, the problem with the tube mods were people were starting to build. Now now you have to remember sub ohming didn't exist yet. Okay, this whole idea of sub ohming didn't. Didn't even exist. People were building at one ohm. Um, under one ohm was considered, you know, no, 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 don't do that because we still didn't have batteries yet. People were still using um, like AWIMRs and Panasonics. They can only do about 10 amps. So we didn't have a need for these crazy 20, 30 amp batteries. So once people went sub ohm, like they dropped it below the one ohm, it was like 0.9. Okay, now we needed our our, uh, our our batteries. Now we had to start getting into batteries, the like Sony's and, and all that stuff, and Panasonic's. I remember when 10 amp Panasonic's were the shit. Everybody wanted them. You couldn't find them. Yep. Okay, they were $10, $15 a piece for these things. Uh, I remember, I remember when those. AWIMRs were 10 bucks a piece. I remember <clears throat> we were using ICR batteries. Okay, that was before we even had any protection. Yeah. They had the, the, the fuses... Yeah, like we that. were using vape safes. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing how much. It's <laughs> it really like it's funny is that it like it really like from a acceleration standpoint, it was right around that right a little bit after the pro tank that it just fucking it just it's like hockey pucked in terms of advances, mm -hmm. right? You know, and then when China broke the twenty watt barrier, that was like really the big thing. Well, that was the thing. Once they got out of, and what happened was. It was evolve. What happened was, if you guys don't know this, um, I got into a huge fight with um, with uh, evolve. Okay, and um, when the DNA was it the twenty? I'm trying to remember now. Was it DNA twenty or DNA thirty? I think it was a thirty. Um, I broke the DNA thirty story at at, at a vape meet, and Brandon, the owner of Evolve, was there, and he was fucking pissed. He was so pissed off that I broke that, that he was coming out with a 30 watt mod, or a 30 watt chip, that he pulled me aside, and was just, you know, just grilling me. And, I, you know, I'm sitting there laughing. I'm like, fuck yourself, you know, like, you just eat a dick, you know. Uh, and, you know, it, it just exploded, because they wanted to keep everything on the DL, because they wanted to control the market. And I let everybody know this chip was coming, and then Brandon went to China, and uh, basically what was happening was China was doing 15 watts, but they were doing it with the snake sound. Remember the snake oh, rattle? Oh, yeah, the rattlesnake. Yeah. They all did it. Yeah. If you look, uh, you know, I'm going to pull up a sardo here, but if you looked at the signal on a scope, 
it literally, it's, it would go all the way up and then down, turn off, and then all the yeah, way up. It would go and on and off real fast. And then, so when you average that out, it's because of it being on and off, it averages out across a load as being less than if it was just on the whole time. Right, so it that's would how they, it. Yeah, that's how they would get the, you know, the quote unquote wattage was just by percentage of the time it was fully on and fully off. And you would actually hear it on the quote. It was like. Yeah. So what, what would happen. Like. So Brandon said, fuck it. I'm going to make more money to go into China. So Brandon goes to China and sells them the idea of of wattage that's real. Okay, their wattage wasn't real yet. Even Yeehaw and all that, it wasn't, it wasn't real yet. And Brandon goes there, sells them the idea, and then all of a sudden, the entire market's flooded with wattage up the gazoo. Like, crazy watt mods. Like, like I don't know if you guys remember, but we had some funky-looking mods. We had, what? like, the Transformer. The I don't know early, if you remember that. One of the earlier ones I remember, and I actually think I have it, somewhere floating around it's dead now but the the hannah clones remember that that was like one of the well that first... was when he he really went down there and that's when it really blew up the first ones that started coming out were the hannah clones with um but they weren't clones that was the thing they weren't clones they were given the technology yeah um people don't realize the the, the whole clone verse um um authentic was fake it was a fake war. Uh, it was, I'm Joe, I invented this awesome tube mod, okay? It has the best airflow uh, on the bottom, and you can change the tubes, all this shit. And you, I'm going to sell this to you for $300, because I have to mill this in Jersey on a CNC machine. They would sell the idea to China, and give China three, uh, China would give them a three-month window. Okay, so you have three months on an exclusive for this okay and this guy's pumping them out 300 bucks 300 bucks 300 bucks 300 bucks then china would start producing them but china on purpose would leave out just a little few things they wouldn't be polished as good they would uh the spring wouldn't be as good on the button mm -hmm. they would do certain things it was in the contract and they'd sell them for 15 bucks yeah and the dude who invented it was cleaning up and at the same time bitching that they're being cloned. Yeah. So he's still making 300 on the side for each of these stupid fucking mods. And China's cleaning up and making them $15 a piece. And the guy's making a, a, a royalties on the $15 mod. As, it was crazy. There was a couple, like two and a half years ago. Um, was it, why, uh, is it called the Aqua or, or something like there was a tank like where basically the clone was out before the original. <laughs> do you yes. remember that? Yes, Tiger used to do it all the time on our blog. The, <laughs> the, 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 the Tiger will remember. Remember yeah. we used to break things on our blogs about yeah. things that would come out before the actual mod. People were still waiting to get their pre-ordered originals when we yeah. break the clone. Everyone was and, flipping uh, over that. One, it would hit the fan. Yeah, and that was because they were ha you know the original was having it made over there, yeah. and then they would just. Fuck, you know, the Chinese have no scruples, so they'll just be like, fuck, <laughs> like, fuck I remember it, being in a hangout. Gonna, we do this now. <laughs> Screw you. I remember when the original Tesla, uh, when uh, Joe from, from Ivy um, was in a hangout with me, and the, test, the first original Tesla came out, and we were in a hangout talking, and all of a sudden, I got an order from, I got the spam, you know, I'm sure we all get the, the China spam. You know, buy this mod, blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, I see the mod he's showing me in the Hangout in an email saying they want to sell them to me. And I'm like, Joe, I thought you had like six months on this. I'm getting orders right now. I could buy them, blah, blah, blah. He calls up, um, who was it? Um, oh, damn it. What was the name of that company? Um, I started with an L. It's, it's eluding me. Anyway. Um, calls them up, screams at the guy because he's he's already taken clone orders out of the back door, and people are paying 80, 90 bucks for the original Tesla, and they're selling backdoored clones for like fucking like twenty five dollars, thirty dollars. <laughs> it was such a great time to be part of the community. <laughs> it was That's, such a great time, yeah. and of course I was on the side of of um, of the clones, so I got a lot of shit. You know, I mean, everybody was like, it's because of you, the industry's dying. I'm like, dude, it's not because of me. It's because yeah, of these well, people are making money 
on front and yeah, back. Yeah, because end. a lot of the, the American side were getting way greedy. It's like, okay, it's a fucking tube. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's, you know, yeah. you're getting a little greedy with the, you know, based on the materials and what it takes to make it. You know, mm -hmm. not in every case. Some like were really handmade. Whatever I can see, all right, it's real labor intensive. But some of them, they just gouged. You know, they were price gouging. And and uh, oh yeah, and they tried. And some of the mods guys, if you have them, if you can find them, me and Tiger, we used to literally fight in the mornings. Because we'd wait to see what Literally. fast tech would, would fast tech would break. It was it was it was. Uh, and she's like, I'm taking this one. I'm like, all right, I'm taking this one. We fight. Seri and serious some of blood the sport. And some of the mods were, like, I'm like, you can have this one. Like, you remember the one that kind of looked like a gourd? Uh, it had oh, the, 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 it yeah. Was like, like yeah, they had the, some ugly. Mods. It was a, it was a Barba Papa. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever I love, that is. That must be Pokemon speak. It, uh, that's old, old cartoons. I, I love vaping with Vic's comment. Two years ago, I said on my channel I wouldn't need more than 11 watts. That was the MVP2. Now look at me. Vic, it's everything. I, I still remember the first computer that I, I got to really, really get into and use and learn about, and it had a 20 megabit uh, megabyte rather hard drive. And who could possibly ever fill that or want more? I actually, re I still remember. I can, I still have like a, a, a like a photograph memory of waiting in line. Wait, and, hold on and, one second. I'm gonna just, say, I'm just gonna drop. I'm just gonna drop for one second. I just gotta get something to drink. Okay. Right back. I actually remember waiting in line at a CompUSA back in the day uh, mm -hmm. to buy a 200 megabyte hard drive for $200. It was a dollar a megabyte, not gigabyte or oh, terabyte. Yeah. Megabyte, two hundred megabyte hard drive for two hundred dollars. It's yeah. it's nuts. Uh, yeah, like Bill Gates said, you'll never need more than two hundred k memory. It's it's crazy, <laughs> you know. It's just it's amazing how much. Uh, and, and what's neat for me is because I work in the in the computer world, and I literally have been into computers since I was a kid. My my first foray into it was at around. 12 I uh, got a Timex Sinclair 1000 which was a Z80 microprocessor which actually predates even you know the 286 386 486 and you know all the Intel CPUs that we now you know know um, that led to Pentiums and things like that uh, it was a Z80 really really basic mm -hmm. um, and uh, and I started teaching myself assembly language on that thing at like 13, 14 years old. And, oh, you know, wow. and it, it hooked up to a black and white TV. To this day, I blame it for ruining my eyes. It's like why I have <laughs> to have glasses when I drive because my vision was perfect. And then the mm -hmm. two or three years of staring at a shitty black and white TV with horrible resolution, trying to read text on it, you know, <laughs> uh, just, yeah, fucking destroyed my eyes. And yeah, you would load. Oh, no you would load. Uh, you would load data into it with a cassette player. Uh, it was like a mono. Remember the old mono machines that were like this big, and you would hook a wire up to the computer, and you'd put the cassette in, and it would have to sit there and play for like five minutes to get the data oh, in, man. which was about fourteen or fifteen k if it was like really big. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was. Yes, the Atari um, Claude. Yeah. Um, the cool thing about it about those cassette players um, back in Europe uh, if you had a strong signal to your local um, uh, radio station they would actually send programs over the radio that you can record on your cassette and you could play through your Atari or your Commodore oh my goodness so it was no like idea. like they yeah they so it would take like 15 20 minutes and if you got an ounce of static you were screwed but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's how they did. And then the, Sinc the the Sinclair had it came with four. I want to say it had 4K of RAM, and then they had a module that plugged in the back. They uh, brought it up to 16K, but it was like a module, kind of like a cartridge type connector, like a Nintendo or Atari would have. And if mm -hmm. it was really sensitive, so it, what you'd end up doing is you'd have like a piece of wood and you would tape the computer and the module down to the board because if it even moved a little bit, 
your all your programs would, would dump they would lock up and you'd have oh. to start over and you get the cassette out and <laughs> load it in for five minutes again <laughs> it's like oh. that's where we came from like that that's what my early days uh were, were spent doing it was like amazing wow so i'm on drudge report it's like one of my favorites on websites and apparently now when i heard Hillary had 650,000 emails. I thought there was a lot of emails. Apparently, this woman has experienced 480,000 sexual assaults in one year. Jesus. Wow. That's, uh, that's, that's a lot. You would think by like that's 13, 14, she would have said something. You know, letting it go to 480,000. That's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, that's a lot. That that's 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 bad. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say about that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that, yeah, I, I you know you, you think uh, well, you know, hey, uh, you know, like I said, fifteen, sixteen, you'd probably want to call the police. Yeah, you think? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I mean, who could count that high? I At that point, what like... you like? Not one, two. Okay, that was Joey. Vinny, uh, 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 Tony, has three. You know, like how do you count that? High? And the, remember the people. Who has that much time? Like she must not work or sleep or. <laughs> I don't know. But just, just saying. Something's going down in Sweden. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's pretty bizarre. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I was just, I just, you know, some of the the headlines that you see, you know, it's clickbait. I don't know if you guys know what clickbait is, but basically you go on those websites and they have things on the side and they have like incredible pictures and they make you click. Mm -hmm. um, the worst so ones, Joe, are the ones that uh, there's a new trend. All right. I'm sure you know these, Joe. Um, the ones where it's a slideshow, like where it's like, you know, the top, let, I'll just make one up, like the uh, 20, top 24 celebrities from the 80s, what they look like now, or something like that. Yes, right? yes, yeah. yes. That's clickbait. And, yeah, and but what they used to be horrible and that it was like one click for each celebrity. Now the new trend is three clicks and the text changes with the same image. They're doing that now. And each time you click it, of course, they're, they're popping new ads off on the side, right? Right. So by the time you, if you look at all 24 like pictures, They've got like you know ninety six fucking ad impressions. <laughs> it blows my mind that people still fall for this. Like I'm on this website right now, and it's like people have destroyed their iPhone over the uh, iPhone over this prank, and it's and they're like a guy with a drill drilling his iPhone, putting mm -hmm. trying to put in a, a port for a headphone, and people click on that shit, and this is how these people make their money. You know what? And I'm it's okay. almost like I understand why. You know, ad blocker is a good thing. What I've been wondering <laughs> because, because those show up protect a lot. people from themselves. They show up a lot in my, in, in the feed in my feed, and mm. I'm wondering is is Facebook making money that way? Like, are they getting money from those the company that's hosting that page, who's then going to make money off the ads to show that in the feed? So are they promoting it and pay, paid promotion? Like because well, they sure. show up a lot. There's they're like up. To, I can't think that that many people are gullible. I'm almost thinking that they're getting... Oh, well, listen, there's plenty of people out them. there uh, where I've seen clickbait, you know, where it's in my feed and it's like, you know, a new satanic worship, uh, Donald Trump, uh, you know, uh, fucks a goat, flaming goat live, you yeah, know, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. there's people are sharing this. Every, every moron liberal known to man is sharing it everywhere, so it's getting popular, and, and it's just clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I they find the most I've, inflammatory topic I've, and I've they just Facebook go with it. I bet Facebook gets a piece of that pie somehow. Like, they must, you know? Or if it's a promoted post. If they're not making money from that, then they should be making money from it. Because it's it's obviously, there's a lot of revenue coming from that. Well, think of it like this. Think about it back when I did the crystal menth post. Back when I did a, a, I was selling crystal menthol. Well, I wasn't selling. I mean, I was promoting crystal menthol on Amazon and eBay. But I called the post crystal menth. Yeah, I remember that. And it got so much attention. People are like, the community doesn't need this. FDA, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, fuck you. It's a joke. Yeah. Get it, Crystal Menth, Crystal Menthol. Yeah. And, um, you know, I posted it everywhere on Facebook. And it got a thousands, uh, probably a million clicks. And you want to know what? Well, you know, Facebook didn't get a piece of that. Yeah, it's true. You know, it, it could be that they promote the post. Like, you pay... Um, Facebook to promote your post, but you anything vape related you can't promote. 
Yeah. Like I tried to promote posts, you know, a hundred, even things like I'm just doing a giveaway for a PS4, and they won't let you do it because you're already flagged as a vapor. Like they just won't let you. They won't take your money. That's odd. That that's weird that they wouldn't let you promote a yeah. giveaway like that. It's like mm-hmm. Facebook. Take my money. This is a legal mm-hmm. product. They won't take it. That's weird. You know, you could you could you could probably promote bongs. You could probably promote like you know. I'm actually a so, sex change for a four year old, but you can't say, do I'm anything st- vaping. I'm still surprised <laughs> yeah. that you know post August eighth that you know we still have all of our presents. Why? There. I well, told because, you this. I don't know. I, I suspected that like after, shortly after the eighth they they would start going around and like nuking all the pages. Oh but, oh, you're talking about. On uh, you're t- on Facebook. Yeah. I think they got bigger fish to fry. Yeah. I mean, let's face it. Our movement—if you took every vapor in the world—our movement is uh, equivalent to people who play, you know, um, Magic Batman. the Gathering. <laughs> you know, I mean, like you took every vapor. It's like you know, yeah. it's like everybody who plays badminton. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, it's I mean, even honestly. a lesser percentage because you're talking about people that actually. Uh, sort of participate in the community most vapors don't do that they just go to their local vape shop they get whatever they need to vape and they vape you know they just vape i always say that it's like the people that are in sh- that watch shows like this are like the one percent of the one percent you know what i mean yeah because it's they're, ridiculously they're, they're yeah, people that niche. not only vape but are actually into the equipment and everything that's a really small percentage like when i every time i go out to arizona like and you know my company's got a few hundred people obviously there's other people that vape in my company and i see the other people that work for my company that vape, they're just normal vapors. They just vape. A lot of times they've got devices that are a year and a half, two years old, you know, um, and they don't care. They're happy, you know, and and, and I just, I'm, I'm happy for them. It's like they just vape. That, that They're the normal ones. I'm the abnormal one, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That, that right. Takes it to, well, there's a, exactly. Yeah. You're, you're a person, you know, most of them are just, look at it as people who drive cars. Most people drive cars. We are like the classic car collector who works on our engines all yeah, the time. Yeah, you know that mean? are like, in the garage, like rebuilding the... It's right. actually a good analogy because we rebuild, right? So it's like the same thing. It's like the guy that completely pulls the engine out of the car, has his own engine hoist, you know, and literally is, takes it down to the cylinder and like files and knows how to do all that and knows how to magically put every single hose and everything back together and the engine starts up when he's done. Like... That blows my mind, but right, and then we're he looks like at that you for vaping. Yeah, and then they he passes by like a local Midas or Firestone, laughing at those people who are going into the garage, yeah. doing it, you know, and getting raped on uh, on the prices when he knows he could do it himself. It's exactly the same scenario. You see a vapor who's like still using a battery in a CE4, and you're like, "What? What are you doing? Come here, let me show you something better." And they don't want to. They're like, eh, "I'll just take my car to Midas." I think that's where, yeah. the, where the love of, and I still have it, but not to the degree I had in, in my early days. But I think that's where the love of the, the rebuilding comes from is, is the, the um, sort of that, you know, it's the same kind of logic as someone that would rebuild an engine, you know, to, to squeeze more horsepower out of it and more performance out of it. And it's the same kind of thing. Like, you know, when you, you know, it's like that pursuit of the perfect vape. Like, and there's so many variables, like a million variables that all affect things, like how many wraps, what the inner diameter is, the spacing, the type of wire you use. There's a million types of wire you can use what your airflow is set up like the liquid you put in it right what why did you set it to like all of these variables and they all interact with each other and they all affect each other and it's like um and one baby zebra and and like (laughs) most people would be you know the average person gets uh, it's the same thing as like computer people really you know most people get turned off by that there's like too many possibilities but then there's certain people like people that are into computers that are attracted to what i call infinite possibilities you know uh they they're actually drawn to the fact that there's so many different things to play with and that they they could actually just experiment and experiment and experiment and get it better better and better and better and better and they yes you know the, I mean? the people i hate are the ones that are the dicks about it though yeah i agree you know, you know they look at your like your computer like, and like oh what you don't have the newest nvidia card or the newest yeah. radeon it's like fuck off all right like seriously like, i don't care if i get the extra 0.5 
frame per second when I'm playing. Yeah, the worst Joe is like, <laughs> dude, you mean you haven't had a, a carbon dioxide truck come to your house so you could, you know, f or nitrogen truck so that you could get your uh, overclock to over six gigahertz, dude? Because I have. You know? It's like, really? <laughs> like, go fuck yourself. You know, like, really? Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it, but that's with any niche. I mean, you can find people in, I'm sure Tiger will tell you, in the knitting community. They'll be like, what? You don't use the new titanium knitting tools? Oh, what? You're still on carbon? Ha <laughs> ha! You know, like, you know, there's always well, a Well, definitely less in the yeah. non-heavy uh, tech areas, but but certainly. You still always have your niches, you know, and, and in every niche, niche there's a higher niche, 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 whatever you want to call it. I've always called it niche. Um, that you have your hierarchy of people in it. It's like, do you know Pammy could do the double petty foot and the blah, 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 when she, she, she knits? It's like, all right, great, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we hear it and we go, whatever, you know. Yeah. But to somebody in that community, you're like, no way, that's awesome. I got to watch your video for the 10th time. How does she do that, you know? <laughs> Tiger's probably shocked I know what a petty foot is. I don't. There is no such thing. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. What's a petty foot? It's supposed to be like some way of doing. Is that like a know. spoke shifter? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. Are, are like you're mixing a sewing machine foot with a needle craft called petty point? I don't know what you're doing there, but oh, let's see here. Let's see if there's a if I if I look a petty foot, a and pe I get a point. Petty side. petty foot, uh, and I'm assuming you're a p p e t i t. Uh, literally means small foot. So I'm kind of I'm I'm a little bit. I'm I'm lost. I don't know. Let's see here. Yeah, but it's funny when you finally accept like one day you're like it just one day it dawns on you that you go I'm the weird one. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. All of them are just <laughs> the people that just vape are the normal ones. We're not. <laughs> now, we It's kind of a we... humbling thing when you realize that it's like okay, like look at my desk like <laughs> Like I have to worry. Like if I if I go on video chat, like for work, I gotta like be concerned about that because it's like people are gonna look at this and go, "What the fuck is that?" Exactly. <laughs> like a normal vapor would just would have this, just this one mod sitting here. Like that would be it. Not all this shit. <laughs> what is this? Exactly. <laughs> you know, you, you, like... you, 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 exactly. So you know. Uh, but but we're a rare breed. I mean, our, our, our community is shrinking because people find things too easy. I mean, you can go out and buy a Jewel. You can go out and buy a MyJet. You can go out and buy it. And you just dump juice in it, and it works. That's you have the to thing. remember, the, the back has, in the day, yeah. yeah, it was substandard, so you needed help. Yeah, that's You the, don't need help anymore. That's why I feel like the community sh uh, has, has definitely shrunk because the off-the-shelf devices are a million times better than they were when I started vaping. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like... You can just, you know, forget about building. Just, like, you know, you can buy, I don't know, uh, something like the, the Baby Beast, right? You buy a Baby Beast, you buy a, a mod that can drive it, you know, something that can do 60, 70 watts for fairly cheap money. Put liquid in it, and it's going to fucking vape great. Like, compared to, like, what we were vaping when we started, it's going to vape, like, really good, you know? And they don't ever have to learn to build or any of that. So I think that's a big part of it like you know when we all started the vets here like you were gonna have a shitty vape unless you did you had to do the you had to learn you had to learn how well to we would look at you know you have to remember too uh back when i first started um going on i'll be through the five years um when when i first started a new mod was once every five months like th like three or four mods would come out in a year you know and what happened was um you know like it wouldn't be mods it would be colors of mods you know that might come out like you know like the the uh you know, something like um the bolt or uh something like the mantis or or something like um um the uh, Provary or something. They'll come yeah, out with the, a new I color. Agree. The speed was. Uh, they were yeah. coming out yeah. a lot slower. Like, but especially... a new mod was big business, and a lot of these new mods were guys. Like, remember the cube? I don't know if you guys, if you guys remember the cube, but it was literally like a dude who like turned um, on on a like his own like um, lathe, and it was gorgeous. And it was literally a cube of stainless steel. 
And it was just basically your basic old school kind of 510 connector, uh, you know, regular ICR battery uh, that would fire Cardo, you know, like, and that would, and they did the cube version too. Well, what's the difference? Well, the pattern's different on this one. <laughs> like it's exactly the same mod except it came yeah, in a different once pattern. Once they started that version trend, man, it's like that that really went out of control. Like in the early days, like I was a big Inikin guy, right? Like I I recognized in those days that Inikin was you know making stuff of higher quality than a lot of the other China companies. At least I thought so at the time. And at, yeah. at, at the time, they weren't cranking them out like at the rate that everybody cranks out stuff now. Like you know, it was the MVP. And that was quite mm -hmm. some time, and then you had the MVP two, and then of course I jumped on that, you know. And well, then you, the tempo, you know... the tempo has increased across the board, oh, to be yeah. honest. But, but I agree, Inakin seemed to take their time and get it right. Yeah. Yes, Inakin for a while was, they had three months. Yep, the SVD, you had the MVP, yeah. and I had I had that and that, and I had the. Little, but that was, that but that was one. still considered like high end shit. What was the like, square that one? Was... I had that one too. The, yeah. uh, with the, uh, that was one of my first mods, actually. The um, what the fuck was that thing called? Um, you know what I'm talking about? It was like kind of like it was ego sized about, but squared off. The Inikin oh, made oh, around yeah. the same time as yes. the MVP. Uh, it, oh, um, the VV. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what it was called. Um, it, it was the. Uh, it basically was a square ego, but it had buttons. Yeah. And yeah, it was uh, adjustable oh, it water. Was you could adjust it. Yeah, I, I, I had that. I had the MVP and I had the SVD. Uh, and then I had the MVP2. Uh, we got a couple of those. One for the wife, one for me. I remember the Provary Wars. I mean, I, I remember mm -hmm. all kinds of things that, that people here have no clue about. When, when you yell, when you said a Provary sucked, oh my God, you were beaten up and destroyed online. Like, Provary was the shit. You pay $200 for your mod. You could run it over with the back of your truck. And it was the best mod going. Even P. Bissardo, uh, you know, was got a lot of shit when he first started uh, reviewing, and he shit all over the Provary until he actually got one. Uh, and even to this day, the Provary is still one of, in terms of build quality, is one of the best mods going. Unfortunately, they didn't keep up with the times. And, you know, they're di Provape is dying. Like, I get emails every day with sales going on over there, because they just haven't kept up with the times, and people aren't loyal to them anymore. And it's sad. Yeah. But I, I don't see them lasting a year and a half. Yeah. You know, because unless they come out with a new, like, you know, 200 watt chip, they're just, just not going to, you know, who wants to pay $250 for a 30 watt mod? It just, I love you, but <laughs> I'm not paying that for 30 watts. I don't care if it's made of diamonds. You know, it's just, I'm not paying that, you know? Yeah. I mean, Tiger and I, we, we bought up Pro Berries. I used to at one point have like five of them, you know? And she got me yeah. the beautiful uh, Dragon Pro Berry, you know, to this day. I haven't even fired it. I remember uh -huh. the night I met you. You were you were rocking Provary. That was like your your shit. Yeah, it's just they were good. Yeah, you know. But now it's like you want two hundred dollars for variable voltage. It's not even wattage. It's like variable voltage. Yeah, it does like five, it does six watts or whatever. Yeah, they kind of do you the math in your head. <laughs> what tiger? I was just gonna say you reminded me now. Now I want to awaken the dragon. So, what does that mean? It means uh, fire up that dragon, Provary. Oh, I'm like, I want to awaken me a dragon. <laughs> no, that's after the show. Well, Joe, uh, <laughs> you know, we are, it, it, is, it is 12 minutes to midnight, you know. <laughs> this is a giant uh, car. No, I'm just like... <laughs> anyway, so... Um, but, but getting back to um, to the old school stuff, that, that was fun. And I think there should be a vaping show dedicated to old school and old school only. Um... I don't know how many shows you can do about it, but I mean, I'm sure you could because there was years where people waited for new things to come out, and we had vape shows dedicated to you know, single products and stuff. But I mean, but uh, you know, for people to understand what it was like to vape five years ago, and even five years ago, I was still on, I was on an ego, which is a miles ahead to what something like Smokey dealt with, where he's been in the community for like eight years. Yeah, you know. I missed. Mm -hmm. I missed the. Uh, I'm too new to have lived through the blue foam and the tea bags and all that. Oh, <laughs> <If you> can... <laughs> thank goodness. I, I I was spared of that. I, I like was born into the iClear 16 era, which was actually, you know, for a mouth to lung vape, it was actually pretty damn good. You know. If you go through Smokey's reviews, he's got a review. He's like he's he's an innovative guy. It's funny. 
you know, people people uh, you know don't look at Smokey as like a, you know one of the top reviewers, but he has been around longer than everybody. He's been along longer than Rip Tripper, P. Bastardo, Grim Green, all of them. Okay, and I remember there's an, if you look at his, I think it's his first video where he has this. Um, he's trying to he's trying to get more um, vape out of a particular or no, I'm sorry, more battery life out of a particular mod. So he rigged this battery pack system up. <laughs> where it's on his belt and it plugs into the mod well at, <laughs> now the mod itself is just a, a crappy push button mod okay and it, it has like Dan's probably a cartomizer and he's just like yeah I got you know like an old day out of this thing you know and it's like a it's like it's kind of like duct tape and it's, like, it's like totally like you know, <laughs> you know but it's but he's driving a fucking garbage truck going down brooklyn like you know like it's old school <laughs> the guy yeah. ever <laughs> he's wow. like and it's funny because you see Smokey now he's completely different than he was say eight years ago eight years ago he was way bigger um just beefier he had like he'd wear like cut off like uh, like um, uh, shirts and he's driving like a dumb truck in Brooklyn <laughs> yeah, you know, forget about he, it <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean like it's completely different now he's all like he wears like an, you know, an outfit he works for FedEx you know it's completely different you know but it's he almost still like loves going to those like those like late 80s dance uh, artist uh, yeah. shows like he loves that that shit like it's almost like the, the phases Smokey has gone through in his life is how vaping has come. Like, in the beginning, yeah. it was dump truck and cut off shirts. <laughs> Duct tape. <laughs> yeah. Now it's air conditioning and beautiful out, you know, your, 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 your uh, you know, what you have to wear to, to work. And, and the truck is immaculate, you know, yeah. and it's completely different, you know. Yeah. But it's, it's a representation of how the vaping community has changed. You, know? you can t you can take the guy out of Brooklyn, <laughs> but you can't take the Brooklyn out of the guy. That's for sure. <laughs> but it was funny. I, re I remember, you know, just watching people. Um, what was it? I got you sixty nine. Oh, made I remember. A, him. Made uh, Scott, the crap. Right? I think yeah, Scott Bonner. I think it was called the Craptastic mod, and it was literally a mod made out of a cassette tape container. Mm. <laughs> and it was <laughs> That's and, awesome. And the container literally held wires you know and a sled for like a 14 uh a 10 440 battery Remember and it everyone... went to a 510 connector and a switch and it you could put a cardo on it you know and it was called like the craptastic mod Remember when that when uh, the the I Altoids can mod yeah. phase that was oh, yeah. and the NES controller that was, that was a big thing like you know yeah. NES controllers the, Altoid cans uh, and the else? little designer tins uh, there was a guy in Canada doing them out of these coffin shaped uh, designer tins I, I've still got mine yeah, yeah, yeah I have one. one yeah Ricardo one I have mine out of, yeah you got me one I have one uh, that's yeah. uh, that's a coffin yeah a coffin mod. Yeah, those were fun. You know, I'm talking like rough stack, sh uh, the, like the, the 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 rough stack mods were cool. You could buy them at Mad Vapes for forty bucks. The bombshell from Hot Vapes, I still have my bombshell. <laughs> I mean, they were basically just tubes that held a, you know, they weren't mechanicals though. See, back then it was, no. it yeah. was weird. It was kind of like a, it was just more of a button and a tube and a five tank connector and a battery, but it wasn't a mechanical because yeah. they had wires. Yeah, because they they would, it was electric yeah. switch like, yeah. and sometimes they would have like the same kind of board that would be in an ego so that it could do the five click on and off kind of thing. You know what I mean? Well, these were no, these were mechanical in the sense that like there were no lights, there was zero lights on these mods. Uh, they had, the, but but what it was was if you unscrewed it and looked at the top, there was this white kind of plastic shell that had a like a brass bead in it. And above that shell, which you couldn't get to, held all the wires and whatever board was needed to fire a cardo or something that was 1.5 ohms or whatever. Like, you wouldn't see anything. It was yeah. just enough so the wires didn't burn up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then once we started getting into, um, like, there were stories that, like, Bolt, the Bolt, uh, which was a knockoff of the Silver Bullet, um... People were using better batteries, like 25 amp batteries, and trying Cardos, and the wiring inside burning up. Yeah, I remember those days. 
because they could, the wiring couldn't handle these batteries. And, you know, mm-hmm. well, back then they didn't know about these batteries yet. Yeah. Especially 20 amps. I mean, well, shit. The, you, and the loads, the loads were progressively going down. People were starting to build lower and lower and lower, and that, and that was increasing the amperage, which was making the insulation on the wire literally cook off. Right. <laughs> so that's. And then you got. The, and then you, then they came out with the kick. Remember the kick? Yep. I ha- yeah. I have the kick too somewhere around. Yeah, here. the kick. Yep. People are now. You're gonna now. Some of you're gonna say, "What's the kick?" Well, the kick turned a normal tube mod into variable wattage. It was literally a spacer between your battery and the contact on the top of the mod. So basically, you would. It was a board, a round board, and you would dial. Okay, I want 11 watts. Yeah. And you put it in the tube, and you close it up, and you vape, and now you got 11 watts. And it, your mod had to be kick compatible. That's why a lot of the uh, the tubes back then had these extra rings. like rings that would come in apart in all these different sized tubes and you would screw this extra ring on to make the mod longer to accommodate the uh because the kick was like the like kick yo ring. like it had it, it, it took up some space so kick was the, the mods shit. were designed to have that extra space where you could screw in an extra ring to make the extra space or you would have to back then if your mod didn't support that, you would use a 500 instead of a 650 battery, and that 15 millimeter difference was yeah. enough to accommodate the uh, the kick. You guys don't know how good you have it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I got cable when I was 12. You know, like like you know, I mean, like it's like you know, you almost feel like um, you know, back you know, p- kids that use Xbox now, it's like you don't know what regular Nintendo was like. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's like you guys don't understand the shit we had to go through, but, but the shit we went through was fun because we all went through it together. When a new product came out, every vapor knew about it from A to Z, knew about this particular product. When the kit came out, the whole community knew about it. Now, when a new product comes out, well, 5% the- of the community knows about it. What's so funny much, is that if, was, you, if you wanted to adjust your vape, you'd have to sit there and fucking unscrew everything, get out yes. a screwdriver, turn the thing, put it all back together, vape it, nah, I still need more, take it all apart. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But Sorry. That's when, that's when hangouts were a really big deal, and that's how uh, information traveled so fast to mm-hmm. some extent, you know, uh, all, all, the, all the people hanging out and trading secrets. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wait, you can make your own juice? Yes, you can make your own juice. No <laughs> way. You can make your own juice? What? Yep. I thought this was a secret Chinese thing. I remember when I went started going down that road, it was like <laughs> I was scouring the internet for information, you know. I remember mm-hmm. and, and I think some vendors still do it. I remember I don't know if Vape Dudes does it still, but Vape Dudes would just close. The website would close. We can't make any more juice today. And close and the website we're not taking any more orders. You know, was notorious for that was uh, the guys that did. Uh, uh, Bob, uh, Boba's Bounty. Yeah, Boba's Bounty. Alien, <sighs> Alien Vision. I think. It, are they still they would, around? They would. What they would do is they'd start. Uh, they would like schedule a time. Like, okay, the, the this morning the site will be open, and then they would close once they hit a certain order queue for the rest of the day. And then you'd, so you'd have to like wake up early or like set your set a reminder to get to the site at the exact time to be able to order it. <laughs> Are funny. they still around, Alien? I, uh, the, the let, me look, let me see. Because they were the first to come out with high VG. Well, because the owner was uh, PG sensitive. That's why. It was he was making juice for himself because he he literally had, he's one of those people that had like a violent um, uh, reaction to uh, PG. Yeah, they still, their site's still up here. Oh, okay, I remember Raw Vape. Raw Vape was real big. Uh, I remember. Uh, um, who was it? Uh, Pink, Pink Spot was big, even though their juice sucked. Uh, and uh, we had uh, Backwoods Brew was big. I bought a coffee from them. They were all good. And My Freedom Smokes was always around. Uh, Vapor King. I got my decang from him. God, it looks like it did back in the day, too. <laughs> you got affiliate program? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Alien Visions. I remember they used to come in these cool green perfume bottles. Yep, there's Gamel. I have a bottle of that somewhere. <laughs> that's that's their uh, which tastes exactly like Boba's. To me. Like I couldn't even tell it apart. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's Boba's? If somebody says it's not Boba's anymore. It's something thirty-seven. Oh, they changed the name. Oh, flavor. It must be this one then, because it's big. 
Flavor 39 or 37 or I something. I guess so they got in trouble. Had... Yeah, I wonder why you had the change. Well, because they had a picture of Boba Fett. Oh, yeah, the Star Wars reference. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, back in the day, you, you could do yeah, it. Yeah, everyone now, was just using everything. Yeah, I remember... Um, no, and they had to change this one, too. This is the, the one that's like Boba's with banana. They, he changed the name of that, too. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Glad to see they're still open, though. Yeah, you, you can actually tell take a trip one. down memory lane called? and go buy some. What was that called before? It was... Uh, been, uh... I had that one, what too. What was the old some... name? Uh, I have a bottle of that too somewhere. It's Boba's with banana. Uh, what the hell was it called? But he changed the name of that one too. So now it's Simeon Slam. I don't know. I can't it's remember. been such a long time. Someone, someone will remember it in chat. But anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, you know what? I gotta go down memory's lane. Up. We should buy some Boba's bounty. You know, that was that was one of those like man, the hype was so crazy. Like Basardo back in the day, it's all he would vape and all he would talk about. And I finally got a bottle of it, and I was like. Raisins. <laughs> I'm yes. vaping raisins, yeah. and I'm not that yeah. excited about it. <laughs> All right, guys, the time is 12.01. Uh, we were just filling in for, uh, I believe, Three Dog Show. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm on Envy. There'll be another person here. Um, and uh, we got some new another people. Another couple. What's that? Another couple. There's only three of us right now. Oh, true. My bad. Yes. We're gonna... <laughs> we, we have two more people that are going to be with us. Yeah. And uh, we got a, a couple new sponsors. Um, yeah. Fucking Vapor's on board with, with Mon Envy now. So um, they're giving away some really cool stuff. And, um, you know, our normal uh, trash talk. And how many days till the election? It's officially um, one, two, three days. Holy shit. You know what I'm looking Not forward to? Not seeing fucking election related shit on uh. face in my Facebook feed every post. Oh, oh the that. next day, regardless who wins, there, there's going to be. Christ, it's, it's just out of oh, control. Oh, there's going to be it's, shit going on no matter who wins. It's it's just I, I've never you know even Facebook existed the last election four years ago, but it was never this bad. This is just insane. Like every post, it's like my side versus your side. You know, it's just like enough. I can't wait well, for it to be over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should live in a battleground state like Ohio or Florida or Pennsylvania or North Carolina, and, and, yeah. and your TV is inundated with ads. Oh, yeah. It's I, just I, like, I hi, I'm selling ad. Yeah. Hey, so anyway, to ad. Like, it's just flooded with ads. I'm but they're used to it. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. Hillary. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So um, we'll see you tomorrow on my Envy. Uh, I don't know the lineup for tomorrow night because uh, I don't know who's going to be here and who's not because some people are at VaporCon because it is the last one. Uh, well, so... actually, we do have that. Uh, as near as I know, I think uh, Kia is back. So uh, from 3 till 5, you'll see uh, Kia. It's not on the schedule yet. I haven't gotten a chance to make the change, but Kia is finally back. She's got her computer system uh, all figured out. So we're anxiously awaiting her return tomorrow, 3 till 5. Uh, of course, 5 till 8, we've got TGI Jen with Higgy Sigs. And Ohm Sweet Ohm is off tomorrow. Anti is not feeling well, but Lead Pipe will be filling in for him prior to Mod How fitting. Of course, and of, <laughs> of course, Mod MB at 10. <laughs> it's like Lead Pipe's Please filling in for Anti and. Oh, okay. Well, that, that, yeah, that makes sense. I, I, I don't even know how your mind works, though. So I'm just not going there. But uh, we Considering Anti's going. topic. A topics and then lead pipe is filling in for anti. Come on, yeah. you just you can't get past that. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. Because it's just such a perfect name. What you need? lead pipe? Okay, <laughs> gotcha. I well, that. he said he said if you're if you're very nice to him, someday he will tell you the story behind his nickname. Uh, does it require me being like Bill Cosby no, roofied? No, or... I, I absolutely do not think so. I do not think so. The I, artist, I think it's going to be the a artist, good story. The artist formerly known as Laid Pipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So anyway, we'll see you uh, t uh, uh, tomorrow. And uh, it should be fun. So uh, yes, our whole weekend is fucked. Thank us for doing this for you. All right. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye, guys.